everyone welcome back i'm so happy you popped over to see what we are up to for everyone who is new here welcome my name is yanni and i'm doing this diy channel together with diane of course on this channel you will find lots and lots of seasonal decor diys and daily decor diys do you want to see more come on over to our description box there you find all the links for our diy channels and of course if you are here and you're not subscribed to our channel of course we hope you will click the red subscribe button and give it a thumbs up it would help our channel a lot to grow so enough talking let's jump into today's diy inspiration and here you see already what we will use for this diy we are going to use our tumbler towel blocks a piece of old kitchen uh, towel or maybe just another towel from, from your bedroom it doesn't matter if at least it is old and it is wet so on an, uh, a saucer so you have it uh, around when you want to wipe away your glue do some uh, paint at your choice, uh, some uh, glue from your glue gun if you use it. I use my uh, wood glue most of the time, but maybe you also use hot wood glue. That's also fine, I think. I don't know. We don't have it uh, around here, at least not that I can find it. I have, of course, my ribbon because we're going to make a round again. I have here my little bucket full with my scissors, some brushes, some markers and some cutting tools. And these are the main pieces we need. And the only thing we also need is some letters. Uh, I'm going to use probably the wooden letters, but choose any letters you like. You can use sticker letters. You can use anything you want. Maybe if you have uh, a great uh, handwriting, then it's also fine if you do it with some handwriting. But I'm not that person. So, <laughs> so I always do it with letters which are already made for me. So this is what we need. What we're going to me uh, make is we're going to make a Christmas mailbox. But again, from Tom the Tau Blocks. So I'm going to lay away my mat because I am uh, having two. <laughs> it's too small. So what we're going to do, we are going to lay down 33 blocks. So of course, it's a long way. So <laughs> three, uh, six, uh, and nine, 12, 30, 31, 32, and 33, if everything's correct. But I don't know if you even see it on <laughs> here. So I'm going to make a straight line. I'm going to count them again to be sure that we have really 33 blocks. So again, 3, uh, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, 21, 24, 27, 30 and 33 so i have them i'm going to make a nice straight line always be, take your time for it to make a nice straight line because our ribbon needs to be having a nice straight line or else our uh, mailbox will be having a lot of strange measurements so we don't want that <laughs> so it will be and of course if you want to have your mailbox a little smaller just do go by smaller but do three blocks at a time away so if you're going to go for 30 27 24 but then you get a really uh, smaller mailbox here so it doesn't matter but do by three and this way i'm going to lay it down and i'm going to measure out before i'm going to do it with my ribbon so i'm going to use uh, a lot of you who are already here know this is just a fabric ribbon without the wire because you don't want to have the wires. This is an old um, piece of ribbon. That's why I have still the uh, the black and white. But don't worry about that. I make sure that the black is on the underside. So if you bend it, you don't see it. So I'm going to go for two lines. And I'm going to go for two lines over here. So I'm going to be sure and I'm going to cut off. Not totally to the end, but a little bit, it's more than halfway. And I'm going to double it up because I want to be sure that my middle piece will be very sturdy. Or sturdy is it? I always say study. <laughs> but maybe you also can study the reason why. I don't know, but <laughs> it is sturdy. So I'm going to cut off this one also. And we have two pieces we are going to glue with the 
stripes of course on top but you will probably have a ribbon which is just one color so i'm going to again make sure that it is a straight line and then we're going to glue it So you saw me straight everything out so i'm going to get my glue and i'm going to use this kind of glue not my wood glue of course and i'm going to do this this is really heavy uh, glue and it is really smells awful <laughs> so i always have my doors open because, <laughs> because this is really awful uh, glue so i make sure that i have all the lines and i'm going to go over here and i'm going to do with this one I make sure that every line of our ribbon has a little bit of the glue so everything will stick together and this way we are almost there over here so I'm going to lay it down get my ribbon get this side and of course I'm going to glue it on the ending and make sure that we straighten it out and again just go very lightly over it and go to this way to get every place out and of course we have to go a little bit to the sides but be sure that you have still a straight line and just redo it if your straight line is away just holding the blocks and move away your ribbon and this way and just going to press it down very gently so you don't move the blocks and I'm still going to keep my blocks in place, but I'm going to go a little bit to the side. Turn this one over and we're going to do the same. We're going to do to the ending. And this needs a little time to dry. So that's why I do it uh, immediately when my DIY is starting. But of course you have the time. You can do whenever you think it's right because you don't are on a timer for your DIY and I always am very long in my DIY so I understand that some people don't like it too much that the DIY is too long but I always love showing everything so and this way now we're going to turn it over and we're going to go again on this side and be sure that we go to this side and again press it down Go gently this way and go gently this way and redo your glue and press it down very gently. And this is already will be the middle piece of our mailbox so we can make a round because I made a mailbox earlier from some cardboard and I didn't get it the way I want. So I hope this will. So but we will see it's an experiment. I never did it. Uh, what I'm going to do, tell you now, also for the smaller blocks, of course, a lot of you are using the smaller blocks. I have them also. Uh, you are going to use for the smaller blocks to make this straight line. You are going to double it up. So you're going to go for two blocks next to each other. Very easy. I'm not going to show you the whole piece, but just do this way. And I, you lay it down this way. And I think for ribbon, I think you need, uh, depends on how wide your ribbon is, go for two lines or maybe even three if you have a smaller ribbon. And you need a couple, you have to make, at least for this kind, you make, uh, I have to look it up for you because you have to make uh, 52 of this kind of two blocks. So you need in totally 104 for the middle piece. So... And all again, that's the saddest thing about the smaller blocks. You still need to make 52 of the doubles. So 52 of this one. I hope I explain it right because I already hear myself talking. It's really chaotic. <laughs> so again, for everyone who is doing the two blocks, we are going to do 52 of this one together. 52 then lay them this way, all of them in a row, just same like I did with this one, and then do your ribbon over it. So it's very easy, you need 104 for the middle piece. So the next step will be, of course, the front and the back side. What we're going to do, we're going to make a right and right, a row, <laughs> a row of nine. In the Netherlands we say rij. <laughs> this is just a little bit of mix up <laughs> from both leg pieces. Four, five, six seven eight and nine so very easy just glue them together on the side this is one number two 
number three, number four, number five, number six, number seven, and number eight, because number nine will be always the closure up. Again, make a straight line, press it down, and lay it beside. And you see where my mat is not totally flat. This is really not <laughs> very nice to work with. I have to look for another one, because this is really awful. <laughs> but that's not your concern. <laughs> you have probably just a nice mat, but mine is totally out of line. And this is already one. And again, I try to get a straight line as I can. But this will be just one plank. We're going to saw it out so it doesn't matter too much. Four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. And we're going to make the other one again. One, uh, two, number three, number four again, number five again, and number six again, number seven, and a number eight. And number nine is to close you up again going to squeeze it, press it together, and make a nice straight line, the same like we did with this one. And of course, I'm going to make five rows of nine, and I won't bore you with that, so I'm going to do it a little bit faster. see our five rows of nine what we're going to do we're going to try at least try to get them off our table and you see already not all of them are very <laughs> very work with me to get out of, of my table you see it's always sometimes a hard <laughs> and hard thing to do so we're going to place it on the side and we're going to glue the sides but of course we have to you see already <laughs> It has to work with me. I have to get this one off the tip. Yes, there he is. And this one, of course, we're going to glue it this way. So we're going to do it very easily. And you see already, if they're falling down, they always break. But it doesn't matter. Don't worry about it. Because you can still glue them together. Because everything will glue later together. You still can work with it. So again, this is one. And we're going to try to get also this one on the side we have to make sure that we glue it on the right side and this one over here and we're going to place this one on the side we're going to do some glue over here and we're going to do this one on the side and again but it doesn't matter, this is just how I do it. And sometimes it's big mess, one big mess, so don't worry about it. So I'm going to go for this one, and I'm going to place it over here, and I'm going to look for which one is fitting the best over here, because you want to have the best fit, but you still can remove it. And we're going to place this down. We're going to place this one down, and this one, and then we're going to look for it, so we get a nice plank, so, but you still can get it in and again try to squeeze it as much as you can like this you just work with it and make it the best fitting that you can and of course this way and we're going to go this way because this will fall away because we are going to cut it out so you see i made one plank out of it and of course like i said we're going to saw it out so don't worry about it uh, if this is not the straight line because all the blocks are most of the time not the same size yeah i know how frustrated it is but it is so this is already uh, the front side and i'm going to make the same one also for the back side so you have two planks you need for the front and the back side and for everyone who uses the smaller blocks, it's also very easy. I have here five rows, and you need seven rows, and you need seven rows of not nine, but you need 13 high. So very easy. You make a plank from seven rows and 13 high, and do that two times. Then you have also two planks 
for making your mailbox. And here you see already our two planks are almost dry, not totally, because if you want to have it totally dried before you're going to sew it, you have to take it overnight. But of course, I'm going to take one of the pieces. I'm going to place it this way because I want to have the shape this way. I'm going to get my uh, middle piece and you see already, you can do anything with it because it's just uh, as bendable as you want it to be and now we can easily make the shape of our mailbox just go it side just lay it on your plank and just decide the shape you want to have i always say eventually we get there it does sometimes it's one chaos but we will get there <laughs> so we're going to keep the underside we're going to keep this close and now we only need to get our pencil and we're going to make the shape we like here and then we're going to cut this piece out use it as a, um, a shape for the second one and we're also going to cut this one out and then we have a front and a back side and of course the underside is open i don't know maybe i will do for the underside i would take a little bit of an you know that we call it plateau at least a piece where he can stand up but you will see that later what I'm going to do with it. But for now, we're going to make the shape. We are going to go outside, saw it out. And we're going to do also for the second piece. So you see already, I have already the lines for the back side of the front side. That's what you want. And I really took my time to make sure that I have a nice rounding the way I want to have it. So take your time for it. And of course, I'm going to go outside, get my jigsaw, and I'm going to saw it out. It's very easy because it's only a little piece uh, I have to cut out. And I'm going to use this one as an um, example for this one. So very easy. I can also do this one. And then we already have almost our mailbox beside at least uh, our bottom. But you will see that in a moment. And here you see already the first part of our uh mailbox what i'm going to do because our mailbox always has an opening so i'm going to take two tumbling tower blocks i'm going to look because this is the measurement i want to use uh, and it's just to look for where i want to have my opening i think over here so i'm going to lay it down get my marker and of course be sure that you get everything together and this way i'm going to go over here on this line and of course over here so we get a nice opening and then we can later make a little letter and we can place the letter inside so this is how he's looking like of course i showed you a little bit closer and i'm going to drill a little hole inside and then i'm going to can get my jigsaw in and then i can jigsaw this whole piece out and here you see our two pieces of our mailbox and you see the opening already for the letters what i'm going to do first is of course i'm going to do some glue around the sides because we need to have some glue because we are going to build it up we're going to do some glue over here just around the side it doesn't matter if it is a little bit too much because it's in the inside and you don't see the inside and the outside you can work away so we are going just around this way and then we can leave it drying overnight because that's very important because we don't want that our mailbox is falling apart. Now I'm going to get my, of course my, <laughs> my and this will be a little task so don't mind if uh, it goes around this way or this way, don't worry about it at, at the end it will work and it does come always get together so don't worry about it we're just going to work our way and this way and it's just a matter of luck just to get it in the shape we want and take your time for it because it always takes a little bit more of your time and we're going to place it over here and very easily press it down and just like i said take your time for it i'm going to take my time for it and then we're going to, I will be back with you. And you see, it was a little bit of a struggle. So like I said, just take your time. And I am having him in one nice bow. So I'm going to do some glue. And I'm going to very carefully, because nothing is still uh, glued to, uh, together. So I'm going to do, and over here, and I'm going to make a nice line. Over here, I'm going to go around. 
and we're going to place the other side on top. And then we're going to finish it off with some paint cans on top and then we hope everything will stick together. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to place it up here and this way and I'm going to work it down because we still need to go a little down over here. And I take also my time for this one and then I'm going to do some paint cans on top. see how our mailbox is looking like right now and I'm so happy how he is because now I can make the round if you do it with the ribbon of course maybe there are other ways to make the round but I am really loving this way and this way is so easy just glue some ribbon uh, on top of a couple of blocks and you already can make the rounds you want what I'm going to do of course we're going to give it a bottom so for the bottom what we're going to do is going to get our blocks and we're going to do 10 blocks uh, 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 and 10 and again we're going to glue them very easily on each other so like this just make a long row again it is number four number five number six number seven Number 8 and number 9 and the number 10 is already the closure up. Squeeze it, press it together, make a nice straight line again. And what we're going to do, we're going to make again very quickly 10 also because we want to have a nice underpiece. 5, uh, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 and 10. And we're going to do the same. And of course, if you use the smaller blocks, you have to measure out the underside of your um, uh, mailbox because I don't know exactly how your mailbox is turned out and you just go a little around the, uh, over the side. So if you have it on top of there, just, just make a nice plank just like the way I do. I think you have enough like this. I think I have 10. I think you will need 12. And I think you have to not double it up, but three rows. So I have two rows and you need three. So I think you need uh, 12 blocks. I need 10, but you need 12. And then I think he will be falling just a slightly over your, uh, the mailbox will be slightly falling over it. So we're going to let this dry in for a couple of seconds and then we're going to glue this together. So I place one very carefully on the side and I'm going to do some glue. And we're going to glue it together and it doesn't matter like i told you earlier if it falls apart it doesn't matter you can easily squeeze everything together until one big plank so you see already and this is how it turned out and of course we're going to let this dry in for a couple of minutes so in the meantime while our bottom of our uh, leather box is drying we are going to make a leather because uh, we also want to have a right uh, right a leather to center so what we're going to do we're going to make a leather and of course we are going to make this leather from Tom Little blocks also because if you do it you do it right <laughs> so we do all of them and of course I measured out my mailbox and this was, I showed you in a moment. I First we're going to make the letter and then I will show you what I mean, how you can measure it out. And of course you can make the letter as big as you want. I'm going to do it three highs from five blocks. So very easy. This is one, two, three, four. And five is again the closure up, squeeze it, press it together, and again a nice straight line, and with the last five. So if you have the same measurement with the bigger blocks uh, as I have, then you have uh, uh, 
three rows of five because we did the opening two blocks wide and I showed you we did our opening of our mailbox in this way I will show it to you you see this one was two blocks wide this was my opening this I, I told you earlier so if you want and I have five so I can easily get my letter in if I want to that's why I did two but if you have the smaller blocks you probably did three and then you have to measure out how wide you want to have your letter I have five blocks but I think you you can use uh, six or seven white and I have three rows but I think you can use four or five but that's just depending on your taste so go ahead check it out you can easily measure it out like this so I'm going to let this dry in for a couple of minutes and then we're going to glue them together now I'm going to carefully lace them up and you see already they still not dry up they still are wet I'm going to do a little line with my glue over here and on this side and then we're going to glue them to the other one very easy and this way and this way and now we already have our letter but of course I will make a print on my computer for it so we can mud part a print on top of here that looks always very nice so again we're going to let this dry in also for now we are going to take our bottom and of course our um, leather and we are going to uh, paint them in the, uh, I use at least the sand color but choose any color you like, maybe you like a black bottom better or maybe a wax bottom, you can do anything you like. I'm going for the sand color, at least for the bottom and of course the leather I'm going to give also an undercoat for uh, the sand color also that everything is matching together. And of course, we're going to do the print on top later. But first, I'm going to paint everything before I'm going to glue my mailbox on top of here. So I take my time for it, but I will do it a little bit faster. Now we have our bottom and our letter in the sand color and I'm going to do this one in a brighter red. But of course you can also do the darker red. I did two uh, pieces on my plank and I am going to, I like this one also if I'm looking now where he's dried up. I'm so in the, <laughs> I'm so in the bottom what to do if I want this one or if I want this one. I'm so, um, I don't really don't know what to do. Uh, I think this one also is very pretty, but I like the bright red also. I'm going to go for this red. I think I'm going to change my mind and think I'm going for this one. So what I'm going to do first is, of course, on the inside, if you look inside of our, I don't know, if you can look at, you can see already the ribbon. And we don't want to see it if we, uh, I think so I'm going to do it on my, a little paint on my brush. And I'm going to go inside and I'm just going to paint a little piece of the inside of my um, mailbox. Of course, you don't have to do the whole piece. And of course, you can also go from this side, but it's not really uh, open. And then I think I'm totally under the paint <laughs> if I do it this way. So I'm going to go for this one and I'm going to paint a little piece of the inside of my mailbox. But of course you don't have to do it, it's just an option. And then I'm going to paint it in totally. So you see I did the inside, now we're going to the outside. And of course I will do it a little bit faster than this because <laughs> this takes a lot of time. <laughs> it's time from you. So I'm going to do it a little bit faster. So you see already my mailbox is in the color red, but now I'm seeing my bottom. And I don't like it. I, I really don't like it. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to paint this one also in the red color. But first I'm going to glue my mailbox on top of here. And then I'm going to paint also the rest in the red color. Because now when my red is almost dried up, I am really loving this color. So I want to have also the bottom the same way. So I'm going to take my wood glue again and I'm going to do the underside of my mailbox. Of course, very easy. Just do some wood glue over here. And that's a great thing. Later on, I still can readjust it because when the wood glue is coming out, I am still um, have to paint the red bottom. So 
I can still work a little bit with it. So I'm going to place it in the middle of my bottom and I hope I have it on the spot I want to have it. I have to look on the back side and he can go a little bit back backwards. And now I'm going to let this dry in. So my paint of my glue is almost dried up. So I'm going to take from the corner on, I'm going to do the whole piece in the red color. And I am really loving the color that he's totally in the red. So I'm going totally around. And of course, you see in a moment, you see the next step. And you see already the bottom is also uh, in the red color. I have here, of course, my leather. I will use with some print later. But I took out of my garage. I also buy them on uh, uh, AliExpress. This kind of round. They are 10 centimeters uh, wide. And you can buy them at Timu, you can buy them anywhere, and maybe probably with a dollar uh, tree. So I take one of them, and I'm going to give them a light coat of the same red color I have also for my uh, mailbox. And we're going to do a print on top, but I want to be sure that the sides are also in the red color. So this way, and I'm going to give it a nice base color like this. So I'm... Then it blends in, when I glue it on top of my uh, mailbox, it blends in very nicely with my uh, box. But I have it, of course, a wooden slice, but you also can use a piece of cardboard 10 centimeters in the round, and you already have your own um, round, so you don't have to buy them. If you don't want to buy it, it's also fine, you can use a piece of cardboard. It's just the same what you get with if using a wooden round, so it doesn't matter. And now you see already we have the base of our mailbox. We have the round we still want to make. And of course our uh, leather to Santa. Um, and I did it like I told you also with this one. I did it from a tumbler towel box. But you also can use a piece of cardboard. But this is just the very simple base of your uh, mailbox. And like I said, just go ahead, use your imagination and make it in the way you want it. I only show you now what I'm going to do with it. But you can go as crazy as you as you like. So you already have now the base of your mailbox. What I'm going to do, I'm going to go now to my computer and I'm going to print out a print for um this round and of course the letter to Santa. So and this is what I printed out. Of course you can find this print also in my my free printable. So go check it out. It is down below in the description box. There you find the link. And of course I'm going to cut both of them out. I always do two but I'm going to use a one. And I'm going to cut out this one and I'm going to mud patch it on top of our round and of course our um, leather. I cut both of them out but before I'm going to mud potch it on top I'm going to get my round and I'm going to get my gold marker I bought this gold markers with a Lidl of Lidl just how you call it and I'm going to make little stripes just on the couple of uh, millimeters I'm just going to very easy make a uh, little um, stripes so this way and this way, and I'm going to go totally around, and then I'm going to uh, mud potch my round on top. And you see, this is what I mean, just little stripes. And I'm going to get my mud potch, and I'm very easily, I'm going to mud potch it on top, but I'm not going to do it uh, immediately on the print. I'm going to turn over the print, I'm going to get my brush, and I'm going to mud potch it on the back side. So very easy this way because I'm going to try to get the matte finish because I don't want too much mud patch on my uh, print. So this is of course the print. I'm going to glue it on top. And I hope I have it in the middle. And I hope... Yeah, I have him <laughs> for... Really, it did, it did go well this time. And you see already, this is how our first uh, piece turned out. And it will be on top of our mailbox. But this is already one. I'm going to do the same, of course, with this one. And also going to get my gold marker. And I'm going to get my little stripes also over here. 
So very easy, make nice lines, and this way. And see also this one, I did the gold lines. What I'm going to do again, I'm going to turn over my print. I'm going to get my Mod Podge again, and I'm going to Mod Podge it the same way, like I did with my around. And again, of course, I don't going to tell you how to Mod Podge your print, because I think everyone who is here already knows how to Mod Podge. And I use the uh, uh, normal Mod Podge, but you can also use some school glue or something else. Mine called uh, Mod Podge, but... Uh, a lot of people do it also with some school glue, so do whatever you think it's right. But I always use this one already for years. But everyone has his own way in my parting. And I always say, uh, one time it goes right, the other time it goes wrong. So bear with, <laughs> bear with me if it uh, wrinkles a little, but we do our best, I always say. I'm going to look for that I have it on the spot I want to have it. And again, we go over it, yeah, this way. And now I don't have mud pots on my print because I don't want I the uh, I don't love it. So that was really bad English, <laughs> really bad English. Blah 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 blah. <laughs> what I was saying, I don't like the shiny uh, look of uh, mud pots. So I'm going to go most of the time for the uh, matte finish but of course if you like it more shiny wait uh, a half hour and then do the second layer on top but i'm going to keep it this way and you see already i am really happy how this one also turned out and i'm going to do right now i'm going to get my wooden letters but you can use sticker letters you can use anything because i'm going to do some words on top of my mailbox and here you see what I will do on top of my mailbox. And you can do letters from Santa. You can do anything you like. But I thought North Pole, I really am loving it. But of course, you can also do North and then Pole here under and then Post. Of course, here in the Netherlands, we call it Post. So it's the same words, the same lettering, but we call it Post and you call it Post, if I am correctly. And this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to get my glue gun and I'm going to glue them on top of here. So I'm going to start with my letter N and I'm going to place it. Then you already have an, a little bit of a um, direction where you want to have it. So I'm going to place it over here. And now I'm covered. Out of here I can very easily work my way. So I'm going to do the letter P. And of course I'm going to do a little piece here. Now he's not totally working with me. And this way. And these are my pieces. Now I'm going to first do the letter O. Because now I'm going to work my way out of it. And I'm not going to show you everything. So don't worry. I'm just going to show you little pieces. So you have kind of an idea which way I'm going to go. And of course we are going to work away the line pieces. So I'm going to finish this off. And then we're going to do the next step. You see, I have the letters now glued on top of here. I'm going to get my gold marker and I'm going to make little lines over the sides. So to get a little bit of a kind of a distressing. So very easy, little lines over the letters on the sides. It doesn't matter where you place it. Just do whatever you think feels the best. And of course, you don't have to do it. It's just an, an, uh, something I do. But if you don't like it, it's totally fine too. I always love a little bit of the gold color in it. So I'm going to finish this off. And you see already the lightning is a little bit brighter than normally because I'm an old lady. But I don't see it. Then I don't see the right way. So I'm going to get my round. I'm going to do some glue, wood glue in the middle. And we're going to glue our round on the top. And of course, I have to look for where I want to have it. And then I'm going to press it down and give it a little moment to settle in. So I have this now glued on top. Of course, it needs a little moment to settle in more. But what I'm going to do, I'm going to get my gold marker again and I'm going to go over the opening. Uh, I'm going to go with my gold marker very easy. Just make a nice thin line. So I'm going to 
take my time for it. So, uh, because I always say you can better take a little bit too much, too much time than that you have to paint all over it again and then do it again. So I'm going to take my uh, moment and of course I'm going to go uh, around the sides. So, and then our mailbox is almost finished. And then you see the quick impression. On my table you see already the tumbling tile blocks and of course i will use the larger blocks but of course i also show you i try to do because a lot of questions i get from the smaller blocks and the bigger blocks a lot of you can only find the smaller blocks and uh, i only can find the bigger blocks so we are just a uh, comparison with e each other because here i have the bigger blocks more for hand and i have to order them online the smaller blocks and you can find the smaller blocks with the dollar tree or dollarama or somewhere else and don't have trouble finding the bigger ones so i'm always try to um um tell myself that also to show you how many blocks you use for the bigger ones so we need some paint some twine some glue sticks some wood glue uh, our glue gun some scissors some a little uh, wire and of course some brushes and these are a little bit of the main pieces we need for this DIY so the first step what we're going to do we're going to take six blocks of the larger blocks and of course from the smaller blocks I measured out it is eight if you look this way you see you have eight blocks and they have almost the same um, white than uh, I have with my larger blocks so eight smaller blocks and if you're using the bigger blocks we are going to use six and I'm going to glue them together of course I only do some glue on five pieces because the sixth one is the closure up so this is number three number four and number five and I'm going to row them together like this and we are going to make a straight line and we're going to squeeze them together and again make sure you get a nice straight line and of course I did forget to tell you uh, always have an, a wet uh, old towel at hand uh, because you can wipe away the glue you don't need so a little bit over it and that means that you always get a nice clean surface like this push it down and make sure and that's the great thing about wood glue you still can readjust it and I'm going to lay it over here clean this up and we're going for the next row and we're going for four five and six like this and of course I don't do all of them together with you don't worry <laughs> I'm just going to show you a couple of them and a number four and a number five and again we're going to row them together this way make a straight line again and squeeze them together press it down and make a nice straight line like this and we're going to let this dry in for a couple of minutes before we're going to do uh, the wet towel on top again three four five and a number six and this will be one and number two and number three uh, and also i get questions about my wood glue and this is a very uh, brand uh, uh, patex of course i know you see it backwards because this was my telephone it's called patex and it is a kind of wood glue but you can get in any hardware store you can get your um, glue because that's um, you can buy anywhere so uh, this just a brand I, I don't know if you get the brand also outside of the Netherlands I don't know and again I have a straight line again and I'm going to let this dry in also for a couple of minutes before I'm going to wet it out see already I have six pieces of uh, six blocks and of course with the uh, smaller blocks you need eight like this and you need also eight blocks 
this way. So this very easy. Eight over here and you have need eight pieces of this one for the smaller blocks to get the same uh, kind of shutter uh, door hanger. It doesn't matter how you call it. <laughs> At least I'm going to go now glue the sides and you're also going to do with the same one with you have your smaller blocks. And again, it doesn't matter if your blocks are a little bit uneven, especially because we want to look, uh, have it look like an old door. And you see, just squeeze it and press it down like this. And we're going for the next row. And we're going to do some glue on the sides again. And sometimes your blocks are falling out of each other, but it doesn't matter because it sticks together uh, anyway, because it glue dries overnight. And again, like this, and you get some openings over here. And I like it because it gives a little bit of the rustic look. But if you really don't like it and you like a smooth um, space, then you can do some speckle on top of here. But I don't do it because I like a little bit of the rustic style. So I'm going to do some glue on this side. And I'm going to place it down. And again, like this. And I'm going to try to get it as even as I can this way. I'm going to do this one on the side. And so you also have for the small blocks the measurement for your uh, shutter. And this is number five. And we go for the last one and number six. And then we're going to let it dry at least for an, yeah, half an hour at least. I think a little bit more. And I'm going to place this one down also like this. And I'm going to wait, like I said, a half hour. So I did let it dry in for at least a half hour. I'm going to take two blocks. I'm going to get them on the top side. And I'm going to glue them together like this. And I'm going to make a next one. Of course, also two on the top. And do some glue and glue them together this way. And then, of course, also let it dry in. So, and now we're going to place both of them on the, uh, I think, not only almost the ending, but a little bit higher, like this. And this one is coming over here. For the smaller blocks you need for this uh, piece, you need uh, not totally three. You see already, if you measure out, you need a little bit more than uh, two. Uh, and a half, but you have to uh, get your hand saw and just saw out a little piece because they are not totally coming uh, uh, over each other with the same measurement. So I'm going to do some glue like this and I'm going to place it over here and I'm going to do here the same and I'm going to let this dry again. Oh, you see over <laughs> my wood glue is already falling down. And I'm going to press it down and wait, of course, a couple of minutes. In the meantime, while this is drying, of course, I'm going to place it a little bit above. I'm going to take two bigger blocks and I'm going to glue them also together. And of course, you can use uh, three blocks for the small one. But I would say go for a little bit of an... This will be the feet of the Christmas tree. So I will go would go for two smaller blocks glued together like this. And I'm going to go for the bigger ones, but for the smaller ones, I would go for two. And I'm going to glue these two together and make sure that you have a nice straight line. And like this, squeeze it and press it down. I get my wet towel and wipe away the glue we don't need. Like this. And I'm going to go... Uh, also let this dry. I know I say already, I hear myself saying every time again, like this. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's just a, a kind of a word for me when I am thinking and um, saying it in once because I think Dutch and I have to say it in English. So don't mind that. So I'm going to let this dry also. You see already our the shutter is dried and of course you still can uh, decorate it more. I am just going for only this side. But you can uh, go take some uh, planks like this and you make and make a cross inside. But my Christmas tree, tree will be so big you don't even see it. And you can do it with some uh, blocks. 
You have to saw them out, of course, because you have to measure them out and make a cross this way. You can only do one side this way. Just do whatever you think it's right. What I'm going to do, I'm going to give it a little bit of an old look, but I don't want the old look just to come completely in your face. So I want to have it under my paint. So I have two markers, the black one and the little bit of the creamy one, a creamy brown one. And I'm going to paint miles in the sand color. So if you like white better or black better, do whatever you think it's right. But I'm going to go for the stressing for this too. But I'm going to look for which one I like the best. So I'm going to take just an example, just a block. And I'm going to get my marker. And I'm just going to go over it and just do a little bit kind of distressing. It doesn't matter how you do it. Just give a little bit of distressing so you can look for how it will look on your shutter. This way. And I'm going to go now for the black one. The same. Just take a block and just use it as an example. Like this. A little bit of black over here. How you can distress it it doesn't matter how you do it everyone has his own way so we're going to let this dry for a couple of minutes so i'm sure that everything is dried in and then i'm going to go over with the paint and look for which one i like the best so i get a little bit of my sand colored paint and i'm going to go over the first block to give it to look for if it's coming through or not and I think I like this very much. It is coming through, but not too much. I hope you can see it. It just gives a little bit kind of a shadow. And I like that because I don't want it to be in your face, the distressing. So we will see how the black is coming. And I'm going to go over it. And you see already the black, I have let it dry at least already for 10 minutes. And still it is coming off the black uh a marker i really don't like that because i really i think it's much too much of your um black and of course if you have it on this uh shutter you will be sorry if you did place the black marker on here because your uh, piece will be destroyed or you can paint it in totally over again and so i'm going to go for the brown marker and i'm going to make some distressing on here and then we're going to paint it so I'm just going to go and get my mark, especially on the underside. I like to have it that it gives a little bit of an old look. So, and I'm going to do my uh, uh, planks in uh, pieces, uh, what two here, two here, and two here, to give it the idea of a kind of a, yeah, that it really are planks. Just go over, and it looks now very straight. That you think, what is this? <laughs> But also with this one, with the tree, it still looks so much different later. So don't worry about it. Just do whatever you think is right, because it will look okay. The stressing is most of the time not something what, which can go wrong a lot, especially because yeah, you use a lighter brown color. If you use the black, then you have to be a little bit more careful because it is a little bit harder to work with. And I'm going to go for this one to make kind of a planks over here. And I'm just going to do it this way. But if you have a better way, of course, do whatever you think it's right. I have to go for here and a little up. I will finish this off because I won't bore you with that. And then I'm going to paint it. You see already my plank is looking on fire <laughs> yes some firing on top of here uh, i'm going to get my chalk paint and i'm going to go over it and just paint very nicely our plank and then i hope 
everything disappears a little bit so it doesn't just in your face so i'm going to do the whole piece and then i'm going to show you and of course i do it a little bit faster because i know your time is precious so i'm going to do it a little bit more uh, in a speed way so you see in a moment how it turns out Our shutter, our window, how you call it, uh, is drying right now. And I think it turns already very nice. He's lightly coming uh, through. And I think it looks a little bit like uh, real wood. But I let you, <laughs> let you decide that, of course. I hope you have the same um, uh, outcome as I have over here with your markers. If you don't want to do it with the marker, it's totally fine too. This is just an experiment. Of course, I still have my blocks with the two pieces on the glue together, which will be the stem. And I'm going to take a little bit of the brown uh, chalk paint and I'm going to do it very easy, very lightly in the chalk paint. So, of course, I'm just going to get some paint out and like this. And I'm just going to go lightly over it because I don't want it too heavy. And that's the great thing about chalk paint. It's not a heavy uh, paint. You still can give it another um, layer or you can leave it this way. I always like that. So I'm going to paint this one also. And then we're going to go further with our Christmas tree. And here you see our shutter is already dried up and I'm really happy with the result. And our little piece of our stem of our Christmas tree, I'm going to get my wood glue and I'm going to glue it on the bottom. But of course, you can use any glue you like. I like this one because it stains, uh, it gives a very sturdy feeling. So that's why I always use my wood glue. And I'm going to place it on here and just squeeze it and press it down and let this dry in for half an so hour. Already I turned over my placemat and my um, shutter. What we're going to do, I'm going to uh, try to make a, from a kind of tassel idea, I'm going to make layers for my Christmas tree, but you will see in a moment what I mean. I'm going to use for the first layer, we're going to start under it. I'm going to use a little um, cork from Ikea. I'm going to get my twine. And I'm going to do it very easy. I'm going to lay this aside and I'm just going to get it this way and I'm just going to turn it over uh, at least I think maybe 30 times. Uh, I want to have a really a big piece so I'm going to take my, my time for it. So and then I hope I really get it off my cork. <laughs> But you see, I want to have a real thick one because it's the under layer. And of course, it takes a lot of your twine, but later you will be very happy that you did it. But at least I hope you did. <laughs> because I like this and I'm going to try to get it off my cork. Of course, it is a little bit of a task. He is coming, but he's not <laughs> it's not going <laughs> easy like I hoped to hoped that it would like this and I have him and I keep it white what I'm going to do I'm going to make a nice thing I'm going to get the middle and I'm going to get my twine the piece you see here you have this piece for your piece of twine here's my little roll and I'm going to do in the middle I'm going to make a couple of turns like this and then i have to look if i have really in the middle you see just a couple of turns in the middle do your glue gun on and of course we cut it off and we're going to give it a little glue and glue it together like this you see we have an opening over here and now i'm going to do some glue on here of course i should have done my glue gun already on but i didn't Oh, he's already coming I like this and I'm going to lay in my twine and I wait until it is dried up because we don't want that it's coming loose now we are going to work our way like this in the middle exactly and I'm going to 
cut it open. And this is a little bit of a task because I have a smaller um, uh, scissor. But if you have, I hope you have a bigger one that I have. So, and I'm going to cut up all the sides. And like this. And again, another one. This is one. And now I'm going to go for the other one. Of course, take your time for it. And I hope your scissor goes better through it than mine does. <laughs> It's always when I am uh, DIYing, everything is going wrong always, <laughs> always, when I want to show it to you. And again, here's two. Look very uh, nicely if you have all the pieces. Like this, I have to look here still another one. Because we want to have all of the pieces open. And this one, and I have to look of course also on this side if everything is open. Like this. And I'm going to work my way a little bit with it. And it is one big mess, you see already, because with twine always coming, a lot of hairs coming out, you see. This is already coming off my first piece. So, and what I'm going to do, I'm going to get my little plank and I'm going to do some uh, glue over here, just under it, just fill it up because... You can use a little of the glue, so don't be too uh, shy. <laughs> Just glue a lot of them over here. Then squeeze it real hard into the your stamp and, of course, the opening, because it really has to uh, close in. I show it to you in a minute, but I have to wait until it's dried up, or else everything is coming loose. And this is an experiment. I never made this one, so... Bear with me if it doesn't, <laughs> it doesn't look <laughs> to anything. So, again, so, and now we're going to give it a nice little fluff, but later on we will make it better and better, but we're going to go, you see, I have it squeezed on the underside here very hard, very hard inside of the uh, stem of the tree, because he has to close in very well. So this is already number one. I'm going to make a second one, the same, also from this one. Of course, I have to turn it around. And I'm going to do it over and over again. And again, just do maybe 30, uh, I think at least 30 times to get a nice full look. At least when my, you see already he's already <laughs> working against me. Because I want to show it to you as fast as I can. And again, I'm going to try to get it off my board. And of course, always when my camera is running, this is happen happening. But you don't have to worry about that because you don't have that problem. I already made the mistakes for you. And again, we have it open, still open like this. And I'm going to just make a nice straight line again. And worked and we have here still our piece of rope go again in the middle make a very strong turns a couple of them not too much and then go look if you have it in the middle or maybe you have to work a little bit with it so look for it I'm going to cut it off again and I'm going to do some glue wait and let, let it fall in and of course be careful don't burn yourself i don't feel a lot because my fingers are numb but you will, will feel it so be careful and i'm going to squeeze it tight lay this one aside and now i have my fingers off my and again we're going to do the same procedure and i'm going to do this one together then we go one step smaller after this one and again And there are a lot of, I don't know even, maybe I have to count them for you because I don't know even how much turns I already did. If you have a moment, I will count them for you. But I won't do that on camera because or oh, else you think, oh no, <laughs> yes I'm back and I did count them and they are exactly 30 turns. So I did count right. But if you want to have it a little bit uh, more, then go ahead and just fill it up with maybe 40 or 50 it doesn't matter and I use the uh, neutral color but 
Of course, you can use any color of your uh, twine. And of course, you also can use some maybe organza or maybe some uh, netting. I think how you call it, uh, organza or oh, there's a name for it. I know it will it slipped my mind, but in a moment I will know it how it's called. So then I tell you. Then you even can use uh, that uh, fabric, and then you also get a totally different one. And later on, of course, we will cut our tree on the size we want to have it. So again, make sure that you don't have your whole house under your twine. So again, work it away like this. So and again, we are going to get our shutter and we're going to do some glue. Of course, again, over here, just let it fall down. And you use enough because it has to glue. And I'm going to lay it in the same length like I did with the other one. So you get the turns uh, on here on the same length. Of course, I have not to glue myself. And again, squeeze it and press it down until it is dried up. And we also get in the middle a nice straight line. And again, we can still work everything together. And he gets the, and now we're going to try to get it more to a point. So I'm going to go for a size smaller uh, loopings. I think I'm going to go for this one. This is just an old frame for a uh, sign. And I'm just going to use this one. This one will be a little bit smaller. So again, we just get our twine and we're just going to go over and over and over again. Especially also maybe 30 times again. Like this. And I have twine, which is very cheap because um, this kind of, I think this one is all, almost, I think, uh, one euro. It's a little bit similar like a uh, dollar. So I think also the Dollar Tree or somewhere else, they also have very cheap uh, brand of twine because you don't want to use uh, very uh, expensive ones. And again, I'm going to cut it out. And we're going to... This one goes easier than the other one. And again, make a couple of the turns in the middle, like this. And not too much. And look for if you have it really in the middle. Yes, I think I have it quite right in the middle. And we're going to go over it. And I have to get a little bit of the glue. And I'm going to lay it in between. My twine. Just very carefully. And I am going to squeeze it down. Like this. And again, it's very easy. We are going to cut it open again. The same like we did earlier. And I take my time for it. But of course, I won't bore you with that. So I opened up all the endings also from this one. And I'm going to get my blank again and I'm going to get of course some glue and I'm going to squeeze it also this one the smaller one and again do some glue over here and we're going to make sure that we have it also closed in on this one squeeze it and press it down and I'm going to make again a smaller one smaller one like this one and again, squeeze and press until it is dried up. Oh, you see here I have one which is not open yet. And I think you will find every time and time again another one which is not uh, open yet. So I'm going to make this one. So I have now the second one, which is a little bit smaller, and I'm going to glue this also 
in the middle like this again throw away do some glue on the little board place it down and make sure that you place your glue your uh, twine also on the bottom that looks always a little bit nicer than that you have glue on top and again squeeze it and press it down and we have now two of each string two of the cork uh, white uh, two of the little uh, sign white of course you can get, uh, get anything in your house which is going from size smaller so it doesn't matter what you use just use whatever you have laying around and now we are going to go again this is how it's looking so far and it looks now like <laughs> and then maybe like something you do your floor with <laughs> But don't worry, in a moment it will look better and better. I'm going to go now for a size smaller. I have to look for which, uh, what I will use for the size smaller tooth. For the next two the turns, I'm going to use my hand. So very easy, take it in your hand and just do, oh, you already do the couple of turns uh, in your hand. Like I said, I'm going to do 30, but you can do anything now. <laughs> like the three, four. I don't know what it is. I never have this, but it just keeps falling off. So I'm going to go. So now I have already a couple of them and I'm going to do the same. This one is really a little smaller than the other one. Again, in the middle, squeeze and press your twine around it. And look if you have it really in the middle. I think I am quite in the middle and of course I'm going to cut out my glue my wood uh, glue gun is still going out on me I don't know why he's doing that but he doesn't like it anymore he thinks it's more than enough for today but he's not finished yet <laughs> so I'm going to do some glue and again a layer piece of twine inside and squeeze it and press it down and also we are going to open up this one too. So I made already two uh, on my hand, the two we need. So we need uh, our little um, shutter and we're going to place this one also again. We are going to place it closely to the other one, just the same like we did earlier, like this. And I'm going to get my glue side over here and I'm going to squeeze it in here. And again, wait until this one is also dried up and I'm going to look for, here is the glue side from this uh, one. And I'm going to glue again another like this on the board. And then I'm going to look how much I still need to for my tree. Because you can decide any way you like and how big you want to have it, of course. And I think he looks already very nice. I never made this before. So, I don't know how this will turn out. Like this. So you see already, he's coming more and more to a point. And now I'm going to look for two pieces, I think, which are uh, even smaller than my hands. So I needed something smaller than my hands. And I was thinking, I still have those blocks which I, which I used as a test block. I still have them, I think, maybe if I glue them together, they can use as my uh, piece, which is smaller than my fingers. And you see already, they are smaller. So I'm going to go for two pieces of this one. Very easy. And just, again... Do a couple of turns like this. And how easy is it just to make your own? And now it's still coming at use. Now I don't have to throw it away by nothing. So again, and I make my little piece of twine because he's already uh, almost done. <laughs> so you see, this is already the ending. So I'm going to use this one. I'm going to get it off. Because it's getting harder and harder to get, of course, the smaller piece and the middle piece. So I'm going to try to get it as tight as I can. It costs a little bit of your muscles. I'm going to cut off a little piece and I'm going to glue it on top of each other. 
And again, lay your piece of twine inside. And again, wait until it is dried up. And even at uh, opening will be very hard because it's uh, smaller and smaller. So just take your time. I'm trying to do it as fast as I can, but take your time for it. I make the mistakes and you can make it in one flawless <laughs> uh, tree because I still have to make the mistakes. And like this, this is the middle. And now I'm going to cut it open, but I will do it out, out of camera. So I did cut open the smaller one and I also make a, made a second one also with the smaller blocks. And I did cut one side open, but the other side I left closed. So uh, be careful if you want to make the same one, then one side you, you cut open, one side you leave closed. Uh, what I'm going to do, I'm going to clean up my space, then you can see it a little bit better. Now I get my shutter again and I'm going to glue, of course, first the one I did cut open in totally, like this. So we are going to find his glue side and this is over here. So I'm going to glue this one on here. And again, like this. Place it down and squeeze real hard on this way. And now we're going to get the one which is close on one side. And you see, I still need to cut off a little piece, but I don't know if I need to. I will see. I will place this over here. It will be kind of a tree topper. You have to, I am going to open it up on one side. You see this one to this side, one to this side, a little bit halfway. And I'm going to try just to glue it over here, just to get a little layover over your tree. I hope that makes sense what I say. So I'm going to do some glue over here, on here. And I'm going to, like I said, spread it out. And I'm going to lay it in between and then make sure that I hold it in place for a little moment. Of course, I have to get away of the glue, which we don't need. And it's kind of a tree topper. This, yeah, I think, yeah, that's the, the way you can call it the best. But you can make your own tree topper. You can do anything you like. So I'm now going to work away to make it a little bit open. And we have to work away with this one. So everything will come in place and like this and I will turn it over. Maybe you can see it a little bit better like this. And I'm going to um, work a little bit with all the pieces of the twine to make it look a little bit nicer. And then we're going to do something on the top. So this is how he is turning out for me. Of course, now I'm going to give it some decoration. And decoration you can do uh, all the way you like. I have here some uh, wooden beads. You can very easily do your twine inside of here and make little balls over your whole tree. Because it's so easy. You have your twine already and just do some glue inside and just uh, squeeze them on. And you already have your own little balls. Of course, you also can use some Christmas bulbs, the little smaller ones for the Christmas trees you also use in your home. And uh, what I'm going to do, I'm going to get a block, a tumbler tower block. I'm going to paint it in the black color and I'm going to give it some letters, some scrabble letters. But of course, you can use some sticker letters, some uh, other letters. It doesn't matter. Do whatever you think it's right. And I'm going to give a little bow on top of here of our tray. So I'm going to use the black chalkboard uh, paint. And of course, uh, it's also called schoolboard paint. It gives a nice matte finish. And I like that. And I'm going to do, of course, we don't have to do the back side because we are going to glue it on top. And then we're going to place in a moment the letters uh, on top of our block. So my little black block is dried and I'm going to use the word joy. But of course you can use any uh, word you like. Uh, I like of course a little bit shorter and I'm going to give it a little space in between. So you can also see the black coming through. You see already I don't even have if you look already I'm trying to glue without the glue stick. <laughs> 
doesn't work. I can tell you, this doesn't work. And yes, it glues better with the glue stick in the inside of it. You see, I did the, like I said, the word joy. I know you see it backwards. Don't worry. That's just my telephone. You see it later in the right way. If you want to have it a little bit longer for longer words, then you have to uh, uh, paint, of course, two blocks in the black color. Then you have a little bit more space uh, to write your word. So I'm going to do some wood glue on the back side because I like that it stays in place. And this one, and then I'm going to show it to you. I'm going to place it over here like this, and I'm going to have to look that I have it in the right way. And I'm going to place it over here, not totally to the top, but a little bit under it. And I'm keep it in place for a couple of seconds, squeeze it. And we're going to let this dry for a half hour. In the meantime, while our little sign is drying, I'm going to get my velvet ribbon. And it's the smaller one because I will finish my tree off with a little bow. What I'm going to do, I'm going to double it up because uh, this one side is velvet. The other one is not velvet. So I don't like that. So I'm going to double it up and I'm going to make a simple bow just the way you tie your shoe. So don't make it too hard on yourself at, at, at least if you are a great bow maker then go ahead make a nice bow but i always love a very simple bow so i'm going to go for this one very easy of course i say very easy but it is already a task to get to get this <laughs> so I like this and now i have of course and this one I have on both sides, I have my velvet. And on this side, of course, I have to cut, get it a little bit shorter. And I'm going to cut it off. This one we're going to cut open. And this one we're going to cut off. And now I'm going to make only some little fist tails on here. But that's very simple. Just open it up, double it up, and just do a little cut sideways. Then you already have your own little fish tail. And I will do it with all four of them. So very easy, but I won't bore you with that. So now we have our bow and I'm going to get my glue of my glue gun. And I'm just going to do some glue on the back side. And I'm going to do a little twist over here. A very over here and I'm going to place it in the middle of the lining over here I'm going to squeeze it and press it down and keep it in place for a little moment like this and I'm all very happy how this one is looking like I'm going to adjust everything and in a moment you see a quick impression Today's uh, DIY, we need, of course, our tumbling towel blocks. What would we do without them? Uh, some wood glue. I use a lot of wood glue because it takes a little bit more of your time, but your project stays better intact. You can also use your glue gun if you like this better. Uh, paint at your choice or maybe some wax, some scissors, some brushes, and some glue sticks. So these are the main pieces you will need for this DIY. What we're we going to make, we're going to make a Christmas tree on a stand, but... We will see how this will turn out and of course it is always with a twist so let's start our tree we are going to start from the bottom until up and i'm going to try to uh, make it so easy as i can especially for for myself also <laughs> so that's why i'm going to do four blocks and i'm going to do some glue on the sides but only on three pieces and number three and the fourth is always the closing one and like this, make a straight line, squeeze it and press it together like this. And make sure that you have a nice line and place it over here. We're getting four pieces again. And we're going to do the same. Just do some glue on the sides and on this one. And we are going 
to row them together and again in a straight line and squeeze it like this and we're going to get our uh, wet towel it's an old towel i always get it uh, on a little uh, a saucer and i'm just going to lay it beside me and i'm wipe away the glue we don't need like this i'm going to let it dry in for a couple of minutes and then we're going to do the next step now we're going to do some glue on one of the four pieces over here just go ahead do some glue on each and every block this way and we're going to very easy lay this one on top and again make sure that it has a straight line press it down this way and we're going to give it of course also a couple of minutes to get very steady and this way we're going to place it over here what we're going to do right now we are going to get four blocks and what we're going to do we do uh, glue on this side of course, this you can also do with your uh, glue gun, but of course, this is a little bit harder to do, but you will have more fun with your Christmas tree. We're going to place this together like this and keep it in place for a couple of uh, seconds until it is dry in a little. We're getting another block and we're going to do, of course, also some glue on the side and this way. And we're going to place it against this one. So very easy, just place it over here. And now we're going to do some glue on this side, on the smaller side. And we're going to do some glue on the line on the bigger side, but at the ending. So over here and of course on this one, I have to show it to you right. And if everything is correctly, I can easily squeeze both of them in and we get a nice little square like this and i'm going to let this dry also a couple of minutes so our bottom and our our first little square is already as i showed you a little bit better and what i'm going to do right now we are going to get two blocks and i'm going to do a little glue on the top of the block like this and i'm going to place it down and press this one against it just in a straight line like this and we're going to make four of them so we do again some glue on this one of course we're going to place this one against it very easy and if everything is dry in a little bit you can easily remove the glue with your wet towel again this is one we're going to go for number three on the tops and of course we can also do it a little bit faster we're going to do already the other one also with some glue we're going to place this against each other and this one also against each other and you see it has to glue together we let this dry in also for a couple of minutes our four pieces are dried in what i'm going to do i'm going to do on the ending of our block i'm going to do some glue this one and totally around and on this side and on the last sides i'm going to do some glue i'm placing it down i place one exactly over here i place one this way over here and of course i'm doing a little bit more glue on the side of this block because he is gluing also the other one in a moment i show it to you a little bit better of course i'm going to do some glue on this side because he is also getting in touch with the other one and i'm going to do this one in a moment I show it to you a little bit closer, then you can really see how it's done. And like this, and now we're closing everything up like this, and we're going to squeeze it and press it together. And this is flat on the table. And I let this dry in for a couple of minutes, and then I show you the, how it's really looking like from this side. So our underpiece is drying right now, and he's almost dried in. But you see already, it is so easy. This is just one of the pieces we made. One, this one, over here is one. And of course, here is one. And this one is one. What I'm going to do right now, because I want the under layer of our tree a little bit bigger. So you can use it a little bit like a shelf. So you can do, so put a little Christmas, uh, a little Santa on top of here, or maybe some greenery. It doesn't matter, but of course, I'm taking one block. 
I'm going to do some glue on it. I have to look for if how, how I glue it, not totally on the underside and only on the top. So I have to look for myself. So a little top and a little on this side, you see? And now I'm going to place it down and I'm going to squeeze it in. And this way, we're going to do again on the top, over here and a little piece of the side. And I'm going to place it, of course, over here again. And we squeeze it again. And the third one, of course, on the top and a little bit on the side. And we are going to again squeeze it in over here. And the last piece we are going to do over here and a little piece over here. And we are going to place it in over here like this and i'm going to let this dry also and you see already it's a little bit bigger so you can put a little things on top of it of course the height will not be too high but you can do a little uh things that you have from the christmases maybe memories or maybe something which is reminding you of uh christmas you can place uh, on this little shelf so i show you also this one a little bit closer this is how it's looking like and how it's built it's so easy to do of course, I'm going to do now some glue on the top of this block. And I try to do it more a little bit on the inside so that not a lot of glue is popping out on the outside. I'm going to get my bottom and I'm going to glue it exactly in the middle. At, at least I'm going to try to do it. I'm going to place it and I'm going to place it down. Let it, and I'm going to turn it around and look for if I have it in a straight line or not, like this, I'm going to place it straight and I'm going to let this dry in for a couple of minutes. But we are going further with the next step. We are going to take again four blocks and we are going to make the same little square. Just easily do some glue on this side. And again, place one block against it this way. And you see already this block is much bigger than this block. So I have to look for which one is straighter. You see, this is a smaller one. So I'm going to leave this one apart because the middle block, the square has to be uh, as straight as it can be. Because or else it will be very wobbly. And we don't want that. So we're going to squeeze it together. We're going to get another block on the side and i hope this one is better so elaine if, i don't know if you're looking this uh, diy you see already our blocks are also not perfect and uh, there's not one package most of the time which is perfect because every package has almost a smaller block or there are some pieces of the wood missing so don't worry about it we have the same problem over here sometimes i don't know how they do it but they just Always get it for each other to get uh, different size blocks inside of it. Or maybe some pieces are broken off. So I'm going to place this one over here. Squeeze it in. And squeeze this together. And now we are going to, on the underside, we squeeze all four of them together this way. And make sure that you have a nice straight line. We adjust it a little bit. That you have a nice line over here. And we're going to let this dry. So we're laying our middle piece beside. And we are going to make again four pieces of. And now I can use this one. Of course I have to get my towel. Wipe away the glue. Because it's very easy to get off. And now I can use the smaller block. Now it doesn't matter. But for the middle piece try to get it as even as you can. Of course I'm going to do some glue on the top. And I'm going to. Do it this way and squeeze it and press it down. And we're going to go for number two. This one over here and this one on top. And again, squeeze them together. And this way, we're going to do for number three. Over here and now the, the last one of the four. like this and we're going to let this dry in also so all of them are dried in what i'm going to do i'm going to do some glue on the ending of this block over here 
you see already this is the one we just glued up over here and we're going to place it in a straight line with this block like this we're going to do for the second one we glue it over here on the ending again like this and you see over here and i'm going to place it down and oh i totally forgot also do a little bit glue on this side then you also have glued the sides together that's always better it's always a little bit more stronger and we're going to do for this one we're going to for the top and a little bit of the side and we're going to place this one in between and now we do the last one on the top and a little on the side and we're going to place of course also this one inside I have to look that I have it in the same place like this and just squeeze it and press it down and we're going to let this dry in also and our uh, piece is already dried in what we're going to do I'm going to do some glue again the same like we did with the other one a little bit on the inside of the opening so very easy like this and I'm going to turn them over and I hope everything will stick in place but you never know I'm going to place it exactly in the middle of the other one so of course place it down and we are going to let this dry in the next step will be before we go further for the next layer of our tree I have four blocks next to each other this way and I squeeze them together I get my ruler and my um, pencil and of course what I did I do one third of the block so I use only the two, uh, three no <laughs> I only use two third of the block and this a piece I don't need so you just get your ruler your pencil and just cut it out of just uh, so it, um, draw it out like this of course I show it you a little bit better that's why I make it the line a little bit thicker before I'm going to saw it so this is what I mean you just make a line and you just cut all four of the blocks off from all four blocks and then we can, can make our next layer that's a better <laughs> better explanation and now we're going to do the next layer and first we're going to make a square again so very easy and I'm just doing it together with you I know not everyone is uh, liking the step by step so uh, I don't know if you really don't like it of course maybe this channel is not your channel because I always love to do it and show it step by step and it takes a little bit longer of your time but it's very easy for you then to uh, finish your own project of course because you uh, don't have to make the mistakes I make so that's always the greatest thing and of course I'm doing some glue over here and like this but of course I hope you will stay I have to look of course I have to turn it over because I had it on the wrong side you see already that mistake you don't have to <laughs> have to make so you see now we already have our own square and we are going to squeeze it and press it together like this we are going to get our four longer blocks and here you see we have the four blocks I just uh, did with my jigsaw and this is a uh, two-third of a block so I'm going to get this one and I'm going to glue this one against it very easy and then we go uh, if everything is correct layer by layer we go to a point uh, like this and again this is one and squeeze it and press it together this is one we are going to go for a number two and a little bit of glue and we're going to place this one together we're going to go for number three and we're going to place this one together and we're going for the last one of course some glue and now we already have the layer next layer already like this we let this dry in for a couple of minutes so it did dry in for a couple of minutes we do on the longer block the full line like this and on this side only a little piece this way and we're going to lay it down and we're going to squeeze it against the middle 
We are going to do here the same, a little on the smaller side. And on the longer side, we do the whole piece. And again, we're going to place it over here. Make sure that you squeeze it together. We're going to do for this one the same. The longer line over here. And the smaller over here. And we are going to... Of course, I have to do it this way or else we're going to go wrong. I'm not going to do it... The right way, I see already. <laughs> this is one big mess. I have to think, I'm totally uh, lost it. Yes, I found my way again. <laughs> so I'm just going to do some glue on the smaller piece and on the longer one. Sometimes if you're thinking uh, too long about it, then you I really started to doubt yourself if this is correct or not. So this is really <laughs> a hard thing to do. Of course, we're going to let this dry in. And you see, we already have here the top of the tree. And I'm going to do again some wood glue on the inside of the opening over here. Just make it as close as you can. And again, we are going to get him off. And we're going to turn him over. And we want to place it on top of the middle again. And just let this dry in also. And we're going to do that next layer. We are going to start again easy. Of course, I know <laughs> it is really one. Maybe for some of you uh, boring, but we're going to make the square again. And this way, some glue on this side. And if you are going to make this DIY or maybe another DIY, not only from uh, this channel, of course, but all our all about of a deco easy channel uh, maybe you can like to show us what you made and we would love to see it so maybe you can send us an, uh, a mail with a, a picture uh, from your DIY or your project we would love to see it so maybe if you liked it we would at least we would love to see what you make a couple of you already did so I am always hoping that a lot of you more are going to make it and maybe have some fun with it and show us also in a picture because that would be amazing. And maybe we also can post it on our community tab so that you can that you did make it if you like that also. But it's of course up to you. You don't have to do it. But if you like it, we would love to see it uh, a picture out of it. So this is already number one. We are going to get four blocks again like this and we're going to get now the half blocks this is not the two two third but the half so again we're going to do some glue and you see now we're going smaller and smaller and we are almost there don't worry it's not a lot of uh, pieces more so and this one and we are going to go for this one and the last one will be also right now we do some glue on the last and we're going to let this dry and we're going to make the next layer and this way so it did dry in so again we do on the longer piece the glue and a little on the smaller and i'm going to place it on this one of course i have to go a little bit back or else it doesn't fit this way Again, on the longer one and on the smaller one. And we're going to place it over here. Squeeze it and press it in. And again, on the longer piece, like this. And on this side. And we are going to have to look for that. I have it in a straight line. We're going to go for this side. And now we only need this one. And again, on the longer side and on the smaller one, we're going to place it down again and we're going to squeeze it together this way. And we're going to let this dry in also. So you see, this is already the piece with the uh, half block. And I'm going to do again some glue on the inside of the opening over here and we're just going to let it fall again on top of our middle piece of our tree again 
just let it fall down and like this i have to turn around if i have it on the right spot because we don't want to have it in the wrong place because now we can still adjust it and you see already he is already getting bigger and bigger and now we're going to do really the last uh, of the layer so we are going to do the last layer and this will be a very small one of course we start again with our a little square in the middle because that's the main base of our tree and we're going to do number three and these are so easy to make and you can make this uh, squares with anything so if you have other projects this one is such a study base if you want to have a study base this really is a study base because if everything is dried up and you do it with some uh, a wood glue you have a really study base so give it a try and this one will be over here i'm going to squeeze it and press it on the underside because or else everything will falls apart and this way and i'm going to let this dry so our middle piece is drying we have now the four pieces which we are falling off of our two third uh, piece so this is one third of a block so i'm going to get four blocks again and I'm going to place this smaller piece also. And it's better if you glue the side which is not um, with uh, the saw. So the, with the jigsaw, this, which has a cutting line. So always the, use the flat side. So this is one. And of course I'm going to do this one because the other side I did with my saw. And this will be a number two. And this will be a number three. And then we already have the last layer of our tree. And I think it turns out like a real uh, tree with, <laughs> with a twist. Because I don't think you have <laughs> more trees uh, this way. And I'm going to go for this one. And squeeze it together and press it down. And let it dry in for a couple of minutes again. And you see now we're going to do the last. We are going to do a little on the longer line and a little on the smaller line not too much only it's the small piece i'm going to lay it against the block with the ending like this i'm going to do here the same on the longer line and a little small piece over here and again i'm going to place it against here of course this way i'm going to do number three the longer line and the smaller line of course i have to be sure that i have it in the right space and again over here and now the last one the longer line and then you don't have to hear me saying it again <laughs> then we are really at the ending so don't worry you did get there <laughs> like this and now we're going to let this dry in so we have again our tree here and we are going to do some glue on this side on the middle side around it like this and we're going to place this one also upside down on here just in the middle make sure that you have the right space give it some pressure and then turn around to make sure that you have it on the right spot because we don't want to miss it and if there's some glue coming out get a little of your brush and your towel and just wipe away the glue you don't need like this and i showed you a little bit closer now you see the ending this will be the end of course we can stop this way but what i'm going to do i'm still uh, always against wasting pieces we still have our half pieces because we did a one block in half so we still have this piece. What I'm going to do, I'm going to place this aside. I'm going to get this for, and I'm going to go make from this piece also a little square. Make sure that you have the cutting lines on top. I'm going to do this one. I'm going to place, I have to look that I have the cutting lines on the, yes, this is the cutting line. So I'm going to go it over here, place it this way. Now we're going to get again. We do some glue on this side and I am totally on the wrong side. You see probably all, it's very hard to see 
so I really have to look carefully. Of course, this is the side with, oh no, I was all right because it is the top. So sorry, I'm just a little, <laughs> a little looking for what can I do the best and this way. And I have to look that this one is the top here. Yeah, this is also the top and this one is the top. Now I have find the right, <laughs> the right lines. So this one and a little on this side. Of course, I do it already the wrong side because you see, and it's so easy to wipe away because if you have a wrong piece, you see already, you don't have to make this mistake like I do because I have to do this. So I have to do it over here. Because I want to have the cutting line on top and this way. And now I'm going to place it over here to make a nice little square like this. And I'm going to let this dry in for a couple of minutes. It's very small and very little and so great that I made the mistakes already for you. <laughs> and our little square is almost dried up. What I'm going to do, I have a big bead, a wooden bead, and I'm going to glue it on top of here. So I'm going to do some glue over here, just on the rounding of the bead, like this. And I'm going to place it on top of our little square and I'm going to let this dry also. So our wooden ball is drying and I have here a push pin. You see here of course I showed you this is uh, one and I'm going to glue this on top. So I'm just going to do some wood glue on the opening of the bead and I'm just going to let my push pin fall inside of the opening and this way and I'm just going to let this dry also. And you see, now we have, we have a nice ending of our Christmas tree on so top. Now the only thing we still need to do is, of course, glue this little top on here. So I'm going to get my wood glue again, and I'm going to do some glue on the inside of this one. You see already, I hope you can still see it on camera, like this. I'm going to place it over here, and I'm going to place it above. I hope I can show it to you. Oh, you are here. Oh, you see already. I'm sorry. You didn't see it. <laughs> I'm going to place this one over here very easy and just let everything dry in. So I just wanted to show you also from this side how the tree is turned out because he's so big. I can eat. <laughs> I can't show it to you uh, on the other side of <laughs> my table. So you see already, this is how he's turned out into a neutral ray. I am really loving it already so much. There are people who love this also, but I'm going to show you a little idea how to can decor you can decorate it. But of course, go ahead, decorate it any way you like because it's for your home and for your uh, Christmas. So you have to do it your way but i'm going to show you right now a little neutral way how to, you can easily decorate it and even looks more like a christmas tree you see i placed you a little bit closer and now you can see the underside the first layer of our tree i'm going to do this first layer together with you because or else it will be very boring if i repeating and repeating the same ever over and over again and you already had that with the tree building up so <laughs> So I'm not going to do it again. So I'm going to take four pieces of three. I'm going to show you this way. This is just always uh, pieces of three. And I'm going to get them always from a branch like this. You see, this is a, the bigger branch. I know it's in your face right now. <laughs> right now but you see this i'm going always cutting it uh, uh, smaller because then you have more um, for your money so i'm going to do three pieces what i'm going to do i'm going to do on the back side some glue with my glue gun very easy well of course i'm always under the glue and i'm going to place it i have this uh, piece this sticking out i'm going to lay it very easily down like this and I'm going to keep it in place for a couple of seconds until it is dried up. Turn it over and I'm going to get another one of three pieces. Again, do some glue on the ending. You don't need more than that. And we're going to stick it, of course, this place of this way. And also it's a little bit sideways on the middle of the, you see on the inside of the tree like this, just in the middle, uh, squeeze it in until there and keep it in place for a little moment and now we're going to do on this side the same 
some glue on here and we're going to squeeze it in and again until the back side and do it a little bit sideways and keep it in place until it is dried up and you can work a little bit with the branches so it falls a little bit over your tree and we're going to do the last one of course you can bend it out I hope you can see what I do. It's so difficult to get everything in uh, the camera. Of course, on the ending again. And I'm going to place it over here and keep it in place for a little moment. And I'm going to wait until it is dried up. And you see, because this under piece is a little bit bigger than the top piece, I'm going to, you see some little openings, you see here, and you, if you look in here, it's open. I'm going to get some loose branches like this, very easy. Just rip them off your, um, off your uh, branch. And of course, I'm going to cut off a little piece like this, so the plastic is away. I'm going to do a little glue on the ending, and I'm going to very easy squeeze it inside over the ending of the greenery because we don't want to see the plastic of the greenery so very easy just take a piece of the branch off i'm going to cut it off this little piece do some glue and like this and we're going to go and squeeze it over here and place it inside until here keep it in until it is dried up I know sometimes I'm sounding like a record, but of course I only want that you uh, have the same um, yeah, uh, finishing like I have. Of course mine is not perfect, I'm not saying that, but I'm always trying to get it as perfect as I can. So this more a little one, just do a little dab on the underside and squeeze it in until you are with the other brand so it's closing up together so you get a nice round around your piece like this and now we only need the last one and we're also going to cut off a little piece of the plastic and again some glue and we are going to place this also inside over here and let it dry i'm going to remove the glue and I'll keep it in place like this and now you have a nice closing piece at it everything is closed what I'm going to do I'm going to have always a large uh, branch of uh, with this kind of berries like this and you can choose anything maybe you like another color better black color maybe a uh, green color white do whatever you think it's right I'm always cutting little pieces off and I'm going to do a little on the ending on the tip of the glue only a little and I'm going to place it in between the branches just like this and keep it in place for a couple of seconds until it's dried up I'm going to turn it over take another one do some glue on the ending and again we are going to place it up and we're going to press it down until we have a nice rounding with also a couple of our berries we're going to go around to this one we do some glue oh you see already the glue is already gone and i'm going to lift up this one and i'm going to place it under here and again make sure that you stick it in place and now the last one like this of course i need another one and I'm going to do some glue again. And I'm going to lift this one up and place it underneath and just squeeze it down with the branch you left it lifted up. But of course you can do it any way you like. So I am already loving the neutral tone and I'm going to build this up layer by layer and you see in a moment the entry feel but of course Go ahead, you can do it as crazy as you like. I like a little bit more of the neutral tone, but you can go, go anything you like. Hi, we need our 
about some of the towel blocks. Uh, I have here some pieces of scrap wood from our tumbler towel blocks. This one I use for our church. So I made the church, I think, uh, if I am counting correctly, uh, one or two DIYs uh, earlier or three maybe. Uh, so I'm going to use, I hope you also, if you did this DIY, you still uh, also have this laying around. And if you don't, I show to you later how you can make them very easily. So, and of course, some glue sticks, some brushes, some wax or maybe staining uh, at your choice, coloring, some paint your uh, glue gun and of course what i will use the most of the time is wood glue because everything stays in place much better so this is what we need for this DIY. we are going to try to make um at least we're going to try some houses and maybe something more we will see so we start with the houses and we are going to start with our bottom but before we're going to do that i'm going to tell you if you don't have this uh, little pieces laying around anymore and if you uh, didn't see or made the church then it's easy to make them you just make four blocks like this together with some wood glue i really recommend the wood glue because you have to saw them you take your pencil and you go from the middle until the side and from this side to this side and you do just saw it out and then you also have your own um, point but you don't then have it totally together i have the side pieces of this so with these pieces we are, are falling off and if you are going to make them also keep the uh, these pieces later on you always can use them and make them together like i do and then you still can make your own little house for on your tear tray because tear trays are always very handy to with the fall season or with the christmas season so just make four pieces together go from halfway until this and until this sew it out and you have the same so we are going to make first our bottom and our bottom is four blocks and it's very easy you just take your wood glue do a little line on three of them because the last piece is always the closing one so like this and i'm going to squeeze it and make a nice straight line again and i'm going to get my wet old piece of kitchen towel and I'm going to wipe away the glue we don't need, like this. And we're going to make a nice straight line again. And we're going to let the bottom dry in. And we are going further with the sides. For the sides, we are going to lay our bottom uh, over here. For the sides, we are going to use three blocks. So again, very easy. Just take three blocks. Only do two in the glue, like this, and squeeze them together this way and you're going to squeeze it and we're going to remove the glue again very easy like this and we're going to lay it beside and let this dry i'm going to do the other three a little bit faster Now we have our four sides of our house. What we're going to do, we're going to place them this way, straight up. And what we're going to do first, of course, this one has also to be straight up. What I'm going to do, I'm going to glue this one and this one together and close it up with this one. So very easily, I'm just going to do some glue on this side and on this side. And I'm going to do it on this side and on this side. And we're going to place it down. Oh, you see already, it's already falling down. And I'm going to place this one against it in a straight line. And this, and we're closing it up with the last one. And give it a little squeeze and then readjust it the way it needs to be just because not everything is always fitting the right way and this way and i'm going to let this dry now we are getting our bottom we let this dry in for i think maybe in 10 15 minutes uh, more you don't need of course he's not totally dry so don't uh, think he is dried already because he is not uh, i'm going to do some glue now over here but if he has dried for a, a 10 minutes, 15 minutes, uh, he you can work with it. But you have to still be careful. But uh, if you want to do it, project, 
always dry it overnight when it's finished. I'm going to glue this on top of our bottom like this and we let it fall down and we are going to let this dry also for I think 15 minutes. You, it needs a little bit more of your time than with the glue gun but it is when it is uh, touched and it is dried up it is really <laughs> hard to get it <laughs> to get it broken so i'm going to do this one what we're going to do we lay this aside we are going to take our pieces of our roof and we are going to make the roof together because if you make new ones then you already have them together but i need to glue mine i'm going to do this one also like this and i'm going to look you 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 <laughs> and this are laying and gluing this one together too so we're going to let this dry also again for a couple of minutes so we glued the roof pieces together of course this is not a roof this is only the piece you can glue your roof on top so we are going to take four blocks like this we're going to get some glue and we only, like I said, to do glue on uh, three pieces. And this is two and a number three because number four is again the close up. And we're going to squeeze it and press it down and again make a nice straight line like this. And we're going to get another four blocks and we do the same also over here. And this one, and these are so easy to make and so cute uh, on your decor. And you can make them for any season, 4th of July we just had, you just had. And of course, fall is coming, so you can change them up any way you like. And if you give them a neutral to uh, tone color, then you can use them uh, really all year round. But you can make them also for the Christmas only, or do whatever you think is right. And I'm going to clean up the glue. And we're going to let this dry in also for a couple of minutes. So now we have our two sides of our roof. What we're going to do, we take this middle piece one. And we're going to do some glue on both of the sides. On this side. Over here and on this side. And if you have a better uh, idea to glue your roof, it's also fine. I'm just going to do it this way. And I'm going to place it against each other like this. Make sure that you have a nice straight line. And I have to be sure that I have it straight. And I let this dry in also again for a couple of minutes. And you see already our this side of our roof is also dried in. What I would do normally, I would close it up with this one. And you can close easily and then place your... A roof on top of your house and it would look very nice you have a closed house but I was thinking maybe we can do it a little different and we're going to leave this open and we're going to glue this one on here and then we can do some greenery inside and some uh, lettering or maybe a little picture on top of here so I'm going to do it differently so I'm going to do some glue on this side of my house and I'm going to place it. I need a little bit more glue. I'm going to go, I'm going to do it this way for you and I'm going to squeeze it in and make sure that he sticks together. So I let this dry in for a couple of uh, minutes again and then I'm going to place it uh, straight up. But don't do it too early because or else he will fall apart because he doesn't have a uh, sun a steadiness from the front so make sure that you leave it until it is uh, really good dried in so what we're going to do in the meantime i'm going to clean this up i'm going to make because i have one over i can make a second one of this one and then we're going further with the bigger ones and you see here i have everything ready for my second little house uh, three pieces of four four pieces of three and one of course with uh, the for the roof so what we're going to do again i'm going to do it together because you already saw the first house i'm going to do it together but a little bit faster
our second little house is drying. You see here, I placed it over here. This is our first we made and I'm so happy how it turned. Of course, you also can use the back side. So you don't have to use this side. You can use it on two sides. Uh, I, You see the roof. I don't really like the top of the roof, how it's finished. So I take a piece of dowel. You can buy them anywhere in any uh, store uh, which is also selling wood. Probably you also have pieces of uh, that was um, like this. We here have only for meters. So I'm going to measure out, just place it on here, get my pencil, and I'm going to just measure out the size I need. So I don't need too much. So I'm going to cut out two pieces for the roof. And of course, if you want to be sure, don't do it as me, just like this and just measure out some with the roof. It's also easy because the roof is also one block of our Jenga block. So do uh, make it difficult. Just take your block, place it against it like this and just measure out. It's much easier than what I did. So <laughs> just learn from my mistake. So I'm going to make two of this size. So you see, I have my two pieces of dowel and I'm going to do some glue and a little bit from left to right, uh, some glue on this one, a little bit on that each side will get a little of the glue and again, place it in between and just give it a little pressure, not too much. And then we are going to let this dry. And I think he's more finished right now. So this is already one of the uh, two. And I'm going to glue this one also on top of here. But he needs to dry up for a couple of minutes. And then I'm going to glue this one also. And here you see our first two little cute little houses. And you, like I said, you can use them anywhere in your decor. Of course, like I said, you also can do the back side. Before we're going to paint them, we are going to make two bigger houses. House. We are going to take five blocks for the bottom, not four, but five. So easy enough. Just do four blocks with your glue. And again, place them together in a straight line. And we're going to squeeze it and press it down. And we do it again and then we're going to get our wet towel and we're going to wipe away the glue we don't need very easy you can do that also a little bit later i do it now but of course you can do it uh, also a little bit later when it's dried up a little bit more so this is already one this is the bottom we're going to let this dry now we're going to go further with our sides for the sides we need four uh, pieces of four like this and again we going I do this one together with you but don't worry I won't do the second house together <laughs> I will do it faster so don't worry if it takes too long so you see and this is already one we're going to go for a second of four like I said we need four of four and four of three but you see that in a moment already this is side number one because we're going to glue them together later because it will be higher than our smaller house and like this this is already number two now we still need four block and this is already one and number two and number three and again place them together squeeze them a little and then press it down and this is already number three of four. And now we're going to go again for the last piece of four. And this is already one. And number two. And number three. And again, place them together. And like this is a lot of counting. I'm sorry if some people find it boring, but I always do it because... Uh, when you want to make it yourself, you don't have to make the mistakes that I made. You just can easily make it on your own. So I'm going to wipe away the glue and of course also from our surface like here. And we have already our four pieces of four. We're going to let this dry in and now we're going to make four pieces of 
three and the four pieces of three we're going to do very easy and fast like this and we're going to close it up with number three this is already number one and make sure that you have a straight line because we need a straight line to work with if we come to make the sides and again because blocks sometimes do not uh, always have the same size of course they should but they don't and this is the number three again squeeze it and press it down and again a straight line we're going to get number three of two three and this one and we're closing it up again you see already this is number three of three if you're going to make this house too let me know if you want to how it's turned out and it would even be better if you maybe could send us a mail and just show us how your uh, house is turned out and how you decorate it because i always show you the uh, a little bit of the base and the inspiration but you can go all the way and make it as crazy as you want like this and i'm going to wipe it away so you will always find our mail address of course in our description box so if you want to show us i hope you will and this is already number four of four of three so we have four of four and four of three we're going to let this dry in for a couple of minutes so our blocks are a little bit dried in i'm going to take the piece of four i'm going to do some glue in the middle a little drops and I'm going to lay it down and I'm going to place it against another one and squeeze it and press them together make a nice straight line again and we're going to let this dry also we're going to place this one on the side and we're going to do also a little bit of glue and we're going to place it down again and make sure that we have this one also glued straightly together again and let this dry we're going to do the same with the three pieces of course first look always if they are uh, have a nice match together if you glue them together because sometimes there can be a little gap of course you can do that with some speckle but uh, most of the time i leave the rustic open because i like a little bit of rustic look on it but not everyone likes that so you can do some speckle on it if you want to um, yeah work away your uh, pieces are with a little bit open or maybe blocks are not always straight but most of the time i don't do it and i always keep it the way it is i always say you have to work with what you have so even when sometimes it is not uh, perfect you still have to work with it and try to make it look like a high-end piece so we are always working on it <laughs> i don't know if it works always but we try our sides are dry right now i'm going to take two of my um, pieces and you know already how we made them i just told you earlier so i'm going to do glue them also together so we have a nice fit over here and we're going to squeeze it and we're going to let this dry also the sides are dried in a little we are going to lay this point away we're going to lay the bottom away what we're going to do we're going to place the four blocks on this side and of course i can do it also this side if you can see it better like this and we're going to get uh, this one on this side and this one on this side and what i'm going to do i'm going to do the four piece with some glue so i'm going to do some because this will be the close up line and i'm going to do it on this side a little glue place it over here make sure that the stands okay because everything is not totally dried yet so be careful i'm going to turn it over and i'm going to do this side and i'm going to place this one also down over here we're going to do it this way and this way and we're going to place the two sides together like this over here and we're going to do this one over here and we try to get a nice shape of course we close it up with the last one and you see already we have a little work to do we still need to readjust it 
And that's the great thing about wood glue. You still can readjust your piece and with your um, glue gun you never get the chance because he's already dried up before you know it. So again this way. And we are almost there. And we squeeze a little. And again we adjust it on the underside because we need a nice shape of our house like this so i'm going to let it dry in for a little moment and then i can still work a little bit better with it so our middle piece of our house is dried in what i'm going to do i'm going to turn it over i'm going to do some glue on here and i try to do it in the middle so everything falls inside of the house and you don't see it anymore of the glue so Try to do as much as you can in the middle. So I'm going to take my bottom, which is the one with the five blocks, and turn it over, and I'm going to place it on top of here again. The same like we did with the smaller ones. Just a little overlay like this. And we're going to squeeze it, and we're going to let this dry. Of course, we also have our this piece of our roof. A roof. <laughs> roof <laughs> and this is something else um i'm going to make the sides of our roof right now of course for the sides of our roof we need blocks of five so we make for each side five blocks this is one and number two number three and number four and five is the closing up and again a nice straight line squeeze it and press it down and make a nice line like this. this is already one so we need again five blocks for the other side of the roof again one two three and number four and we're going to place them together again like this and squeeze it and press it down and now we're going to let this dry in also. So the sides of our roof are dried in and we're going to do the same like we did with the smaller ones. We are going to do this side and this side. And we're going to lay it down. And we're going to lay this one also. Of course, I have to get it a little bit over here because or else I'm totally in the glue with my sides. So be sure that your surface is also most of the time as clean as you can have it i'm going to place them together and i'm going to squeeze it and just lay it against each other and let it dry and the roof is dried in and we're going to do the same uh, again like we did also with the smaller we are going to do some glue on this side of one of the sides of the under piece of the house placing it down and we're going to squeeze it in, do it carefully, make sure that you have a nice straight line and like this. And we are going to let this dry also. And here you see how our bigger house is already turning out and I'm really happy with it. If we have all four of them, we can make a little village. You can do it for the fall season, Christmas season, any season at all. So I'm going to uh, place, of course, also a wooden dowel on top of here so i'm going to measure out the same like i did with the other ones of course i'm going to get the block it's the same length and i'm going to get my pencil and i'm going to make a line like this and of course i'm turning it over and make another line so we have the same measurement every time and over here now we're going to close it and we're going to need another one because we need two also for the other house. And this one. And again. Over here. And maybe you have something else that you make your roof for. That's also an uh, idea. You can do give it some other uh, uh, spaces on top of your roof. I just do the wooden dowel, but you can do anything you like. So I'm going to cut them out. So I have two pieces and I'm going to now i'm going i'm going to glue them on top of here my mouth my mouth was already further than my speech was so you see this is how it's turned out of course i'm going to do some glue 
and I also use for this one wood glue of course you could have do uh, maybe some uh, glue from your glue gun but I think everything the same a little over here and a little over here doesn't need to hold a lot so and I'm just going to lay it in between and press a little and if there is a uh, glue coming out just take a very thin pencil of a pencil yeah brush and just go around it around the line so you are sure that there's nothing coming out so like this and now I'm going to let this dry and we are going to make the second one but I'm going to do it a little bit faster see our four houses two little ones and two bigger ones and like I said to you you also can turn them around like this and then you have your closed houses and so you can make a nice little village uh, what we're going to do of course I'm going to paint and I'm going to paint it in the neutral tone uh, a little bit like a sandy color but of course you can do it in some wax you can do it in any color you like maybe black maybe green do whatever you think is right of course i do this color and i will paint all of them but i'll do it a little bit faster see already all the four houses are in the uh, little bit of the sandy color um, I have a little piece uh, I've uh, used already in another DIY and I used uh, this print uh, I think on a snowman if I'm correctly but I'm going to use it but only the middle piece the lettering the Merry Christmas and I'm going to cut it out and I'm going to um, mop watch it on the two little houses I don't know if I will do it on the bigger ones but on the two little houses I'm going to place it uh, under here Merry Christmas but of course you can do any word you want and here you see what I mean just Merry Christmas and I know you see it backwards Duh, it doesn't matter because that's just my telephone later you will see the right way I'm going to do some mud parts on here and I'm going to glue it in the underside because I'm going to decorate it uh, from the inside out so I'm going to do it on the underside but I don't know like I said I do, if I do it on all the pieces or maybe only on the uh, little houses so we will see but first I'm going to do some mud parts very easy and I'm trying not to get it on the front of the lettering because I like the matte finish but I see already it's a little bit blend through and I'm going to place it over here and I have to look that I have it in the straight line and this way and you see I think it looks very nice and I'm going to do also on the smaller one and yes you see already they are all with the tag I couldn't help myself I did uh, do a little one for the bigger ones I did it in the middle and the uh, smaller houses I did it under what I'm going to do I'm going to do one together with you how I decorate it but you can do it any way you like this is just an example how I like it but go all the way I'm going to get my branches and I'm going to get two of this one I have to show it to you like this and of course I think you're a little bit close but uh, I'm sorry <laughs> but this way you can see it a little bit better so I'm going to do bend them and I'm going to hang them over here and I'm going to do the same over here 
like this. So you see already they are on the sides of our house and just bend it so much that you that it stays in place on its own. And I like this. And now I have a little bit with a longer stamp and I'm going to place one this side and one on this side. So try to a little bit squeeze it in like this. And what you also can do, maybe it's better if you do it immediately. I didn't do it with my first house, but I'm thinking maybe it's better if I do a little tip of glue uh, over here on this side and on this side. Then you are having no problems that your um, branches are going inside because it's a little big hole in the inside. So maybe just do a little glue on the ending. Just glue it together. Keep it in place for a little moment like this and I'm going to do with the other branch the same of course place it a little bit more inside like this and I'm going to do some glue over here and I'm going to keep it in place for a little moment so we are sure that it doesn't slip inside because there's a lot of space inside and like I said you can decorate it any way you like so I'm going to do it this way. We are going to fill it up with loose pieces like this with three ones. And you have here one with the bigger one. But of course, I have also this one. It's very, And I think you can buy them at Dollar Tree. You can buy them anywhere. So I'm going to do one on this side. And I'm going to place one on this side. So very easy. Put it in. Now I have a different branch. And this is more, I don't know how they are called. I really have no idea. I just found them uh, already a couple of years ago. And I'm, yeah, I'm using them for a lot of this uh, place. I'm going to place them this way, just a little bit sideways and squeeze it in. Now we have uh, almost the same pieces, but a little bit different ones, like a little bit of the balls. And we are going to place it on this side, but on the underside so again place them in it's just a little bit of squeezing and pressing and <laughs> you know what i mean just press it in <laughs> it doesn't matter like this we are going to go of course get uh, a couple of the bigger branches we are going to rip it off i'm going to cut off the plastic ending you and i'm going to bend it a little and i'm going to place it in because i don't want to see the uh, part of the you see here of our branch i don't like that so i'm going to cut off i'm going to cut off this side i'm going to bend it over and i'm going to just easily place it in and lay it over here like this so you have a nice uh, ending of your uh, branch because uh, it's always ugly to see when the, the branding is not perfect so I'm going to go for this branch, a little of the red berries. You can white, use white berries. You can do anything you like. So I'm going to place one over here. Like this. And I have a little bit of some rare, of white um, pieces of berries like this are. And again, I'm going to cluster them together this way. And I'm going to place it. On here just tip it up and just squeeze it inside so we have it a little bit on the left side of this piece over here and now I have another one and I'm going to place it over here but there's no rhyme or reason why I do uh, which side but if you have two houses of course it's always um, to do it if you do one branch on this side I uh, should do in the other house on the other side because I think that looks a little bit better so I'm going to go for this one and I'm going to squeeze it in and this one has to be down so it has to go under and like this I squeeze it in with my finger and just every to every time just redo a little bit of your pieces and now I only need a little of the white, also the same like we did on top of here. I'm going to let this come out on this side, but very easy. Squeeze it in like this. So a little pops is coming out. Not too much, but little pops. 
and you see already this is how it's looking like and of course in a moment you see a quick impression how all the four houses turned out but remind it doesn't matter how you decorate it just uh, as you have fun and do it the way you like it because like i was you hear me every time saying again and again it's your home the copy so do whatever you think is right today's DIY we are going to use of course our tumbling towel box uh, a ruler uh, some brushes uh, some uh, scissors some paint at your choice but uh, of course uh, I will use the white and the black and maybe the, a little bit of the sand color I don't know yet of course you can use your glue gun but most of the time I always use my wood glue but go ahead do whatever you think it's right the only thing with wood glue your project stays better uh intact so you can uh, it's up to you but with a glue gun my experience is everything is falling apart most of the time so if you want to do it fast then i would recommend the glue gun but if you want to have it a little bit longer in your home then i would use the wood glue and what we're going to make we are going to make the easiest um you can think of christmas calendar so we will see how this will turn out so the first thing what we're going to do we are going to make our um calendar blocks because we are going to use them for turning around the times and the days so what we're going to do we're going to make seven of three blocks so very easy just get your glue and do on the side on this two pieces because you close it up with number three and this is already a one place it apart and we're going to do this seven times and of course i try to do it as fast as i can because then you don't have to wait that, that long but of course i always love to show you how i make it so again number two and of course i made also a calendar already on my other channel on uh, deco easy so if you want to see that one too go ahead and check out the channel you will find the description of course always down below in of at least the, the link for the video is down below not the, and there you will find the link of course for our channels so thinking and uh, saying it in english is always <laughs> a thing and especially because it's monday so and again this number four and you see already the difference in blocks uh, one is bigger already than the other one so if you have the same problem don't worry i think everyone has the same problem and again number five and later you still can work with it so don't worry just make it together and then you can still do readjust it and this is number six and now we only need a number seven and this will be already the last for block number one and this is the second one and the blocks we close it up with is a number three squeeze it and press it down and like this and what i'm going to do it's very easy i'm going to do some glue over here be careful because it is still is not glued to each other do a little glue try to get it up your table place it on top we're going to do the other one of course some glue and take all the blocks with some glue and again place it up here we're going to do the this one and again you see already he's coming out of each other but it doesn't matter because we make one block and again we do it on this side and we place it again up here and the last one because the other one will be a closure up again and again place it up and we're going to place this up here and we're going to place it down and like this and we squeeze it press it and we're going to let this dry at least for a half hour and i'm going to make the second one but i'm going to do it a little bit faster
So we placed our two blocks uh, beside. This way we're going to place them over here. What we're going to do, I'm going to get four blocks. And again, in the this uh, side, of course, we're going to do this side with some glue. And we're going to do this side with some glue. And a number three. And we're going to row them together again, like one line. Very easy. Just go. And of course, I always have my wet uh, old um, towel over here. And I'm going to wipe away a little bit of the glue we don't need. Because or else it will be one big mess on my table. And it normally is already. So <laughs> uh, most of the time I always do everything under it. But I'm trying to get it as neat as you can. So you can see it a little bit better. And number three again. And we're closing it up again. Like this, squeeze it and press it down. Like this. And don't squeeze too hard because I also heard already that when you squeeze it, sometimes the blocks are jumping around. But <laughs> try to squeeze not too hard. And the last of four, because this will be the back side of the little box we are going to make. This will be a base of the box because on the top of the box we will going to make our own a little snowman and i think there will be two snowmans if i am correctly so i'm going to let this dry in for a couple of minutes and then we're going to glue it together so now we are a couple of minutes further and i'm going to do this side with some glue very easy and do it carefully because your glue is still not totally dried up if you, the project is totally finished, I recommend just let it dry for at least 24 hours before you're really going to use it. And you see the blocks here also are not totally the right size, but we are going to work with it. So this is already the back side of our base of our box. We are going to get three blocks and we're going to row them together very easy. And, and this one, and we already have one, place it over here, and this is already, and we're going to make three of this one. And of course you still can see, if you don't understand my English, you still can see what I'm doing. That's always the greatest about doing this DIY, you always can see what I'm doing, if you don't understand what I'm saying. <laughs> And most of the time, sometimes I don't even know what I'm saying. So don't worry about it. Here it's always one big mess. And this one. And I'm going to place it up. And this is already in number three. And this will be also one side. And I'm going to get another one of three. So we're going to go under it. We go further. And I told you this is already one big mess. And this is number two. And I'm going to place it up with number three. And again, we're going to place it over here. So we have everything glued on our table. And I don't know if you can also get this kind of mat. Because you, also, you can use an easy place mat. So I don't know what I have today. You see already everything is falling out of my hands. And this is number two of the first of three. And the last one. And then we almost have our box. We only need the sides. And closing it up with number three again. And I'm going to let this dry in also for a couple of minutes. So this did dry in for a couple of minutes. I'm going to take it on the side and I'm going to do some glue. And I'm going to do some glue over here. And the greatest thing about the wood glue, you still can readjust it a little bit. Especially because you have blocks which are not the same uh, measurement always. So that's always very nice because I think you can see it. You see already this block is also not on the same size. So I will work with it and we will see how this will work in my project. Because this is really a lot of blocks which are not totally the right size. 
And of course, if you don't like openings or maybe uh, little spaces in between, just get some speckle and just uh, close it up. I don't mind it because I think it gives more a little bit of an old rustic look and it doesn't have to be perfect. But if you want to have it perfect in your home, maybe you want to spray paint it gold. Uh, if you like more like a glam uh, style, then I understand if you want to um, give it some speckle or uh, some wood filler and just uh, fill it up. But I most of the time don't, so don't worry about me. If you like it better, just go ahead. This is just an inspiration. And I'm going to let this dry in also a couple of minutes, and then we're going to do only the sides of our box. And you see our pieces are drying right now. Now we're going to go to make the sides. So I'm going to get three blocks on the side like this. And one and number two we're going to do in the glue, and we're going to squeeze them together like this and we're going to do the other side it's also very easy on the wider side and this one and we're closing it up oh, closing it up with number three i don't know what it is today but it is really monday everything is falling down and it's working against me so bear with me <laughs> at the end we hope we have a really nice uh, calendar for the christmas season and maybe this can is also very nice to place on your uh, uh, um, nightstand for your uh, children. So you can use it for any purpose. So again, I'm going to let this dry also. And then we're going to build the box together. And here you see all the pieces we need. We need the uh, three blocks of four, the uh, three blocks of three. And here again, also a side and the side panel. So I did lay the bigger one in the middle. I'm going to glue very easy the small one. I'm going to glue on this side, this side. I'm going to do the other side and this side. And I'm going to place it over here, a little almost in the middle because you can readjust it in a moment. I'm going to do on this side the same, just on this side. I'm going to do it on the other side and on this. Oop, you see already on this side. You see, you now you are <laughs> you are really seeing how much things I'm going to f let let fall down this DIY. It's really I I have no idea what I'm doing. <laughs> it's real one big mess. So don't do it the way I do it. Just <laughs> do your own way. And now I'm going to do on this block only the underside, and I'm going to do on this one the same over here and now we're going to place it together we're going to build this one on top of here over here and we're going to do this one on top of here and this way and now we're just going to work with it so we get a nice straight line and everything will fit together that's like I said earlier, this is the great thing about wood glue. You still can readjust it on your own purpose. And I see already what I totally forgot. So don't do the make the mistake like I did. Make one of three again because I totally forgot the middle piece. And you make one block and another one. Place it down like this. And we're going to squeeze it. Press it down, and of course, this one also needs some glue on each side. I don't know how I can forget it, but you can still do it better than I do because you can still be just before you're going to glue it and like this. And we need this in between, so we need a little bit of glue on this side, on this side, and be careful because it's totally not dried in. And we have to place it in here. So we're going to do this one a little bit outside. And we're going to place it in the middle over here. And going to squeeze it together. And we're going to let this dry in. You see already he is uh, drying on, on this moment. But in the middle you see already some glue uh, sticking out. I'm going to get a little uh, pencil. And I'm going to get my wet a, a piece of kitchen towel. I'm just going to wipe away a little bit what is too much of the glue because if you paint it later then you it's not a, uh, a nice side to see so just go over it and 
work away the blue you don't need just in the corners like this and work it away so we see i'm sorry that it was a little bit of confusion for the middle piece so you don't need you need uh, two pieces for the side of three but you also need uh, this one for the side so i totally forgot it and i glued it this way but you can also glue it on the other way so you have the three pieces over here but i have to do it had to do it quickly because i was totally in panic <laughs> that i totally forgot the middle piece so if it is dried up i show it to you a little bit better on camera you see our little box is drying and of course you see some pieces are not only the straight line because the blocks are not the same size i told you earlier but we are going to work with it and later on you won't see it anymore so this is drying also right now what i'm going to do i'm going to make the snowman for on top but i already glued my four pieces and my footage is already gone i don't know what happened but uh some I did wish it, I don't know where it went, but it is vanished. So you make two pieces of four blocks, very easy, like this. And then you're going to glue them together. Very easy, just this way. So four blocks of four and just place them together like this. Squeeze it and press it down. And make sure that you have a straight line and let this dry in for a couple of minutes. In the meantime, while our two blocks of four are drying, I'm going to take two blocks, but I'm going to do the top with a little bit of glue. And I'm going to squeeze them together like this. This is already one. And we're going to make a second one because he will be at the bottom of the snowman, a little stand. And again, on the top and place the other block against this and squeeze it and press it down and we're going to let this dry in also for a couple of minutes you see our parts are drying our parts of our snowman and of course our box and we ha still have our blocks what i'm going to do because the blocks are if you are looking at our box and you want to do it in here you see it's uh it's fitting and not fitting because the measurements are exactly the same so what we're going to do don't forget uh, to uh, get your sander and just send off a little piece of this side where you have the couple of blocks all together like this so not this side but the top like this side and i'm going to get my sander out and i'm going to send an i think a millimeter uh, maybe two millimeters a little bit off the line and then he is perfectly fitting inside of here so I'm going to do this outside, so don't forget it, that you don't think it's not fitting, it doesn't work. It, uh, I also do have this one with my drawers I made on my other channel on Deco Easy. I made a couple of uh, dressers and also with some drawers and a uh, couple of people uh, thought the drawers are not fitting. It is correctly because also with the drawers you have to turn them over and go to the bottom and send off a little piece of your uh, blocks because it's uh, the same measurement like one block so then one time it will fit other time won't and if you want to have it fitting better just go uh, get your sander maybe your hand uh, sand uh, paper is also fine but you have to get a little layer of your blocks to get it fitting inside of here it's not a lot but a little so i'm going to go outside and i'm going to send off a piece so my blocks are uh, a little uh, piece off with my sanding and of course be careful that you uh, keep a nice straight line in your sanding because or else you get wobbly uh, things like I have a little bit so be careful how you, how you send it. What I'm going to do, I'm going to paint it, everything, I'm going to paint this one in my sand uh, color but you can do any color you like. I'm going to do, make this one white, make this one white and make this one black. And of course, I make the blocks also in the black color and I'm going to do some white uh, numbers on top of here. But choose any color you like. I'm using for the black, I'm using my schoolboard paint because I like the matte finish of my schoolboard paint. But like I said, choose anything. Maybe you like to spray paint it. It's also fine to do whatever you think it's right. You need with schoolboard paint, you need a little bit of your time because... Um, it's uh, when it dries in it keeps, it keeps popping up a uh, little pieces which you don't uh, paint it yet so take your time for it and make it a very nice black block 
So I'm going to do this one and like I said, one of the two blocks. So I did this piece, like I said, in the black. I did the half of the blocks because then I can turn it around and keep it in my hands or else I'm totally under the, <laughs> under the paint. I'm normally I'm. And I'm going to use for this box, I'm going to use the sand color. And you can buy this anywhere you like. Of course, I'm going to fill it in just inside of my box because the whole box will be in this color. So I will paint this and then you will see how it's turned out. And for the last pieces, I use a white. Of course, you see already I did also the box halfway of at least a little bit more like halfway. So it can dry and then I go do, do the other side. For this one, I'm going to use the last of the two blocks of two. And I'm going to paint this in the white color and I'm going to paint this in the white color. But not totally because this one needs, the top needs to be black for his head. So now I'm going to do this one white. And like I said, I'm going to do this one, I think over here. And I make a line until where it can be white. I think I like a little bit like this. So I make one line with my marker. And now I know exactly how far I can go. Of course, I can do the white a little bit higher because this one will be uh, over it. So I can go a little bit higher with the white. You see, I have the snowman's body almost in the white. And I did also the black, uh, the black side, the back side. <laughs> In the, in the white color and of course a little bit sideways what I'm going to do first I'm going to take my black piece and you see already I didn't do the back side because I, I have to glue it on top of here and I'm going to make a line with my wood glue and then I can paint a little bit further of course I have to be careful where I want to have my like this I'm going to place it I think where I want to have it, like here, and I'm just going to give it a little squeeze until here, and I'm going to let this dry in for a couple of minutes before I'm going to go further with painting. You see already on the table are the parts we have our box, our two blocks, uh, our uh, stand for under it, and of course our snowman. But I was a little bit uh, puzzling uh, it together and I don't like this white one. So I'm going to paint this one in the black color. So do whatever you think it's right, but I'm going to do it in the black color because I like the coloring which is coming back. So I'm going to do this one in the black and I also do now the back side because I'm going to glue it on this side. And then I'm going to glue my snowman on top of here. So I'm going to do a little bit different than I told you. So that's the great thing about DIY and you can do anything you like. So I'm going to color it up again in the black color. So I'm just going over it and make it black so it takes a little moment but you don't, you don't notice it because i will do it a little bit fast forward so my little piece of two blocks is drying in the meantime i'm going to go to my computer and i'm going to make a print which i can do on top of here and this is how my simple print turned out. Of course, I know you see it backwards. Don't worry, that's just my telephone. I just did Christmas countdown and Christmas countdown calendar. So you can choose whatever you like. Of course, you will find this one in the free printable. So if you want to use it, go ahead. Of course, I will cut this one out and I'm going to uh, mud parts it on top of here. And again, a little change of plans. I would do my uh, Christmas countdown on top of the underside over here on the black uh, piece. But I'm going to change my mind. I'm going to glue it up, maybe mud parts it on top of the head of our snowman. Because I think it's a little bit more different than you normally have. So I'm going to take my mud parts and mud parts it on top of here.
So now our snowman is almost ready. Of course, we have to give it a little bit decoration on top. But first, what I'm going to do, I'm going to do some uh, wood glue on the ending. And I'm going to glue it in the middle of the two blocks with the black. So I'm going to do again on the top. And I'm going to do some glue over here. And I'm going to try to get with my top of my ding a little bit scratching over it. So it gets a little bit more... Um, over the whole piece and you see this is a block of four so you can exactly do the middle and this way and just squeeze it and press it together and let this dry for a couple of minutes and then we're going to do a little bit of greenery and some berries on here see i placed you a little bit closer and a little bit more on my um, snowman what i do i always have a, a kind of bag with this kind of little carrots I ordered them online on AliExpress and they are so cheap. So I always have a bag laying around. I did pull out the green piece and I'm going to get my knife and I'm going to cut off a little uh, of the top of my carrot. So very easy, just go very lightly over it. And I'm going to place it over here. Of course, what I'm going to do first, before I'm going to do that, I'm going to take my bag with some googly eyes and I'm going to get out two of the round eyes. And of course, if you are a great drawer, just go ahead, take your uh, pencil and draw beautiful eyes. I am not a great drawer, so I have to do it with my googly eyes and my sticker <laughs> on the back side. So I keeping myself easy so I don't mess it up. I'm going to place one on this side. And I'm going to place one on the other side because exactly two blocks is the middle. It's very easy to glue them on here because this is a sticker. So it's always very easy to work with. I'm going to place them right next to each other. And of course I want to have them on the same height. Like this. And I'm going to press them down a little. I'm going to place them up and I'm going to show you this way. And now I'm going to get my carrot and I'm going to do some glue on the back side and I'm going to glue it over here. I'm using for this also wood glue. You don't have to do that. You can use your glue gun. But most of the time I'm always a little bit afraid with a glue gun that it, you can see the glue on the back side. So I just do a little tip on here and I'm going to place it in the middle of his eyes just like this and keep it in place for a couple of uh, minutes. But you don't have to wait for that. So my nose is not totally dry. He has his time. What I'm going to do, I'm going to do on the top. I get some greenery, just a greenery leaf. And I'm going to get off two of the smaller pieces. And I have to look for, this is also a smaller one. So I'm going to lay it aside. I'm going to see already, if you place it over here, see this on the top is a piece of plastic. I don't like that. So I always cut a little ending of the back side off. Just like this, a little piece. And I'm going to do on this side the same. Of course, I have to go in over here. And I'm going to place both of them over here. So I'm just going to get some glue. And I'm going to glue it together. So just do a little bit of glue on the back side. Like this. And just lay it a little sideways. Over here. And we're going to... Get this one also only a little glue on the ending of the tip. So maybe you can see it a little bit better. You don't have to use a lot of glue and just place it over here and squeeze it and press it down until here. And what we're going to do, I have a little piece of a garland with some berries. So I'm going to cut off, uh, I think, two or three berries like this. There's already one. I'm going to cut out number two and number three, and like this. And I'm going to glue them in the middle of our two pieces of greenery. I'm just going to glue one over here, and press it down, and keep it in place until it is dried up. We're going to do the other one. And this is a little bit too much glue, so I wipe it away, do a little dot over here, 
and I'm going to place it over here and keep it in place. Of course, it takes a little bit more of your time, but and now number three. Also, again, some glue, and I'm going to place this one against the other three. And now we get a nice bundle of three. I press everything down until it is dried up. And this is how he is looking like. And I think he looks already very cute. Of course, now I still need a mouth. I don't know if I will do that because I am so bad in drawing uh, uh, pieces. So maybe I'm going to ask my daughter. I don't know. You will see. But for now, I'm going to uh, glue this one on top of our box. So I did get my ruler and my pencil. I thought I have to do I have to make a mouth because I have to do it myself because I did my get my ruler. I did one dot over here, one over here and one in the middle, a little bit lower. So I can get, I can get, this is really uh, amateur uh, drawing a, a mouth. So I'm going to go for this over here and I'm going to go over here because now I can't go wrong and I'm going to go over it in a moment with my black marker but i so envious always uh, of jealous of people who can draw so beautiful because i'm so uh, wish i could do it of course i'm going to do a little over here and one over here and this one over here so bear with me i hope it will look <laughs> <laughs> look okay if I get my black marker and go over it so I'm going to go in a line like this I'm sorry if I don't talk because I am already happy that I get <laughs> through this line and I'm going to go over this one and over this one like this now for me he is more than <laughs> more than okay so uh, i hope you give it also a try if you're just like me and you also are not great in this so just make two uh, dots over here one dot in the middle a little bit lower and just work your way or against it and this is what you get what we're going to do and now i'm going to glue it uh, on my box and here is my box and i'm going to glue my snowman on top of here and i'm going to do it in the middle i'm going to show it to you this way like this so and then he can dry because uh wood glue it always needs a uh, time to dry so i'm going to turn it over like this i hope i can see it to you on camera and i'm going to go over it and i'm doing some good glue over here and i'm going to place it in the middle of course i have to look where for me is the middle of course and this way and i'm going to place it down and I keep it in place for a couple of seconds. And of course, you can <laughs> you see, for you it's only a couple of <laughs> eye blinks. So the little box is drying. And now we only need some numbers on top of our um, yeah, dice. At least, yeah, dice, not totally a dice, but at least our uh, square blocks. And I'm going to do some numbers. And I'm going, first I'm going to do it with some marker because... And then I'm going to later go over it with some white uh, pencil with uh, some white um, chalk paint. But first I'm going to use it for this one to try to make the numbers I need. Because you need 25 days uh, on one of this. So on one block at least has to be one, a zero, uh, and a one, and a two. So at least these three already has to be on one of the blocks. And on this blocks, you only need the other days. Uh, until um, nine you see this is what i did i would uh, I should go over it with some pencil and then with some paint but i found my gold co color marker and i am loving the gold color on top of here so do whatever you think is right if you like white or maybe red or something else uh, and maybe you could also do some wooden uh, uh, numbers on top of here so you don't even have to write it I am going to choose for this one. What I'm going to do, I'm going to get some felt. Of course, again, scratching on my table. So I'm going to do on the underside of my box, I'm going to do one felt and I'm going to cut it in four. So I only need little pieces. And I always cut it when the paper is still on the sticker because then it's better to 
cut it. So I have four little pieces for each corner, one. And then in a moment you see the end reveal. And you see already on my table are our blocks. Of course, I hope you take out your blocks too and you join me right now. Of course, we can use some wax or some paint at your choice. I have here my buckets with my um, tools, uh, some scissors, some brushes, some markers, some thread of some wire. We call it uh, a draad. Uh, of course, and we are going to use our wood glue. And if you're going to use your hot glue, it's also fine. Use whatever you think is right. What we're going to make, we're going to make a Christmas tree inside of a planter box. So we will see how this will turn out. I have really no idea, <laughs> but we're going to try it. So we are going to start with the box. Of course, we are going to take five blocks. Very easy. And we're going to do some glue and over here number two number three number four and five will be the closure up again and this way squeeze it and press it down and you already have one piece we are going to make four of them because that will be one side of course i have always my wet towel it's an old towel and i always have it around for the glue <clears throat> or else everything will glue together that's not what we want and number three number four and number five again and i only do this panel together with you so don't worry <laughs> don't be scared i will not do everything together <laughs> so for everyone who does not like to see how it's made don't worry in a moment i will stop with it so, <laughs> so but i only do this side together with you the rest i will do for, uh, a little bit faster and number three and a number four and of course if you are making diys also maybe you like to show me how you are made it and what you uh, changed of it and uh, what you did with it maybe you would like to show a picture because we would love to see it so our email address is always in our description so i hope you like also to show us what you made because i really love to learn from someone else like we all learn every day and this is number four and again we're going to let this dry in for a couple of minutes not too long so now we did let it dry in for a couple of minutes, but we are going to be careful because it's still not dry. So I'm going to take it on the side. I'm going to make a nice thin line over here. And thin is with me always very difficult because most of the time I always have too much glue. But don't mind. I always say don't make the mistakes I do because then it would be one big mess because I always make a big mess. But I always love to show you. I think I'm going to turn this over. And this way. And this is the last one. Of course, also a little line. Oop, you, you see already this one. This one. <laughs> this one I mean. It's always one big struggle to get everything together. But don't mind me. <laughs> so and now I'm going to squeeze everything this way and i'm going to get my wet towel and I'm go over it and wipe away the glue we don't need this way and this is already one of the panels we are going to make another one like this one but of course faster I have the two panels aside then they can dry up of course we are going now to do the this are the front and the back side of the uh, planter we just made and now we're going to do the sides and they don't have to be uh, that big so I'm going to go for four blocks so very easy the same like we did with the front we just do four blocks together and we make four blocks also 
of four pieces. And again, we're going to use the fourth as a closure up, squeeze it, press it together in a nice straight line and lay it apart. And we're going to do again four blocks. And again, don't worry, I don't do everything together, <laughs> together with you. So again, number two and a number three. And this is again a closure up. And this way. And for everyone who uses the smaller blocks, don't worry, I don't forget you. I In the moment when I have all the panels, I will tell you exactly what you need for your box. So don't worry if you are using the smaller blocks. I know a lot of you are using the smaller blocks, so I'm always trying to give you also the measurement I would use. Of course, it's what I would use. It's not what you have to do or must do. You can decide for yourself because it's always something of a privilege you like to use. Maybe you want a bigger box or maybe you want a smaller box. It doesn't matter. I just tell you what I would use. And this is number three. And again, the last one, of course. And then we already have all our panels of the boxes. And you see already, of course, you see already how dumb I am. <laughs> You see, I made four pieces for the side. And how many do I need for the sides? Of course, I need two. <laughs> and I have four. So I am already more active than I should have done. So I have two blocks extra I don't need. <laughs> so I'm going to let this to dry in for a little moment. So and you see already, I have a use for this one. I just do an extra block on it. These are the two for the sides. I could place them over here. Because I was a little, <laughs> like I said, a little bit too active. So I'm going to do one block extra because for the bottom we need five. So again, we do on this two already, <laughs> already one extra. This way. And so you can still use your blocks. This is already one piece. Of course, we make have to make a straight line. And now we need for the bottom, again, five blocks. This way, again, make sure... I have to look for if the blocks are a little bit the same size because the blocks I use at the moment are really awful. I told you also on my other channel on Deco Easy, I made um, uh, I made um, some milk packages and they were awful. It was really so hard to get it together because. The sizes were totally off, and then you don't even see behind the scene <laughs> behind the scenes. There were times I could uh, throw away my milk packages, <laughs> so, and of course I also tell you in that uh, DIY what does uh, what did go wrong, because I always love to show you that things go wrong in your DIY because no one makes it in 100%. And I always so love to show you the mistakes. And you can learn from it. And so you can make it in one piece. And even when you make a mistake, you know everyone makes mistakes. I'm just, like I always see an amateur like all of you. I just have something in my mind. I try it and we will see if it works out or not. And this is, of course, number four of the four piece. Now we're going to... Lay them this way and we're going to give it a couple of minutes rest and then we are going to glue them together and then we also have our bottom already. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to do some glue on this side, a very small line again. And I'm going to do it on this side, place it together this way and we're going to do it on this side also and make sure that you have enough glue that it even sticks together because you don't want your bottom to fall off and this way squeeze it and press it together and for a lot of you who already uh, <laughs> were watching very quiet very uh, how you say it in, in english uh, who is watching already very uh, i don't know how you call it in english um at least you see already if you see this one and you see my side panel you already see the difference that it will never 
never fit because because this is four for the sides and the, this side is five if i am going to place it standing up like this i am missing one piece so even on this uh, two i need one extra so i'm going to do for my side panels it is not four but of course five so i'm going to do a block extra on this one and then he's supposed to be fitting and of course so for everyone who is really confused right now because this was a little bit of a chaos i really do it and for the bottom you use of course four pieces of five glued together for the side pieces you also do four pieces of five glued together do this two times of course for the smaller sides you use also five blocks but only one row so it's very easy and then we can glue it together now for everyone who uses the smaller blocks you see already i have them on my table for the bottom and the two sides are the same measurements you need one two three four five six seven blocks row and you need to do them one two three four five times you can do six times but then i think your box will be very big if you like it a little bit bigger it's also fine but i would go for five so one two three four five six seven row row of seven and do that five times glue them together make them three times and then you have your bottom and your two sides and of course for this side i would only go for seven blocks Four in a piece and i would go two times because one is a very small box i would go for a little bit bigger so i would do seven a row and i do them two times if i was you but of course if you like bigger then go bigger so i placed first my two sides and the two smaller sides what i'm going to do i'm going to do it very easy i'm to do some glue on this side and on the other side this way place it straight up and I'm going to do the same on this side and on this side. And we're going to place it up and we're going to place, of course, our two sides against it. I have to look for where, of course, we need to be. And we're going to do this one and then we're going to work with it and make sure that we have it in a straight line. And this way, just squeeze it and press it down. And again, also over here, press a little until you have a nice shape you want. Because you don't want the shape not is, uh, is not perfect because um, or else the bottom won't fit. So we have to be sure that everything looks, the shape looks okay, at least as best as we can. So I think I am really in the right shape so i'm going to leave it and let it dry for at least a half hour and you see here i have my bottom and of course but i totally did forget to tell you if you like the bottom really straight uh, to, uh, with your box that is totally fitting i like a little bit of a little um uh, edge around it because i yeah i like that if the the, how, the wood is coming through so you see already what i mean my wood is sticking over a little piece but if you don't want to do it then you have to do for the bottom uh four rows of four blocks and not five then you have it really close fitting i don't like that but i totally forgot to tell you but if you that's your privilege uh, go ahead and just make four rows of five and glue a uh, four and glue them together. So I'm going to carefully going to try to turn it over because he's still not dried up. But I'm going to do some glue on the bottom, very easy. And I'm going to try to do it a little in the inside. So if the glue is coming out, it's not too much. Too much is going on the outside. So of course, it's not always totally working. At least, especially not with me because. <laughs> because i'm always really bad with glue so i'm going to get um, turn it over and i'm going to place it on top and then you will see exactly already what i mean with my pieces sticking over and this way mine is and i'm going to have to go a little to the side i have yes i think i am almost there if i am correctly so you see i like a little a piece uh a, so I don't know how you call this. I'm going to look it up in a moment because I'm uh, here in the Netherlands. We call it a rand, a randje. So I don't know how you call it in English, but I'm going to look it up right now. 
So I looked it up. It is an edge. So I have a little, <laughs> little edge over here. And of course on this side. But like I said, if you don't like to like it, go ahead and just make uh, four rows of four blocks. So I'm going to let this dry in, give it some pressure. And I'm going to wait until it is almost dry. But we're going to go further with the inside because this can be decorated but the inside will be a tree so now we're going to make the bottom of the tree which we will glue of course inside of our box it's very easy just do two blocks together this way and this is one and the other one very easy glue them together this way and we're going to get them up carefully and glue this two together so we get a nice four piece like this and we're going to get our wet towel we're going to wipe it off this way for everyone who uses the smaller blocks i would go for three and three glue them together and place uh, one ankle against this way so very easy this i would go use for the bottom so very easy three three glue together and of course one ankle and glue them also on each side so you get an also a nice bottom like this now we go for the inside of the tree i'm going to go for a glue this way and a glue this way and very easy glue them together and do some glue over here we do some on this side and we're going to place both of them on top of here and we make a nice four piece this way squeeze it and press it down and make sure that you have a nice straight line and you even can place them straight up if you think that's a little bit handier for you it's just this way you see four blocks like this very easy and we're going to make i think at least five or six i have to count but at least make already five i'm going to make five a little bit faster So you see already I told you five blocks but I measured out for me it is a little bit too short so I did go for seven if it is too long I just kept my jigsaw and I saw it all <laughs> saw it all but I think I'm really uh, fine with uh, seven of this and I'm going to glue this seven together it's almost not fitting on my table you see like this I'm going to measure out a little bit if everything is fitting very nicely or else you have to turn around some of them so you have a nice straight line and we're going to glue them together so very easy just do some glue and we're going to do some glue over here and we're going to make sure that we have everything fitting now what you also can do if your space is not too big just like mine then you can do it in two times and we're going to do this one because I don't think he's totally fitting on my table. I'm going to do my best, but you see already he's not really a fan of my <laughs> fan of this length of my placemat. So and again I'm going to make a straight line and I'm going to let this dry in for at least a half hour. So for everyone who uses the smaller blocks, I would go for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine high. Then it's a little bit shorter, but not too much than the bigger blocks. I would go for then for this size. Of course, if you want to go up, just do uh, one extra. But I would go for nine and I will go three pieces glued together, three pieces glued together and on top of there. And then you also have your own block this way which I have with this one with two and two together and you do three and three together so very easy and you're going to do this I'm going to show you nine times high and then you have the same uh, one that I have over here and of course then you can glue your piece on your bottom in the meantime while this is drying we are going to make our Christmas tree we are going to get three blocks and we're going to glue them together very easy and we're going to do for this one the same and this is already number one of our christmas tree of course we're going to get away our glue we're going to place it over here 
we're going to get of course then two and a half blocks so you need three half blocks i always i try not to make too much noise i have always a bag full of half blocks so i did with my jigsaw a package full of blocks and i all of them i cut in half so i always have a big bag over here i'm going to do two and a half of course you see and it doesn't matter it's not a really uh, really a problem if you don't have exactly the half because i always also do not always have the same measurement so i always keep everything because you never throw something away because it's always a waste of your money so i'm going to go for this is already two and a half and you see where this block is not really <laughs> really in half but we're going to do with it maybe i'm an old lady and i always tell you my eyes are getting getting worse so <laughs> i'm going to sometimes i miss up with my jigsaw also so this is two now we're going to go for one and a half and we're going to do this with this one and then we're going to finish it up also with a half block and this is over here and this will be the lines of our christmas tree but you can go bigger wider and it doesn't matter how you do it but i'm going to go for this size and these are the pieces for the front side and i'm going to uh, do also double it up for the other side because i want that my pieces can be uh, shown on two sides so i'm going to go again for three blocks the same like we did with the first one and again this and we're going to glue them together and a number three and again squeeze it and press them together until one nice line and we're going to place it over here get our wet towel wipe it off and of course our surface so this way we're going to go for two and a an half and this is of course one and we're going to go for a half block and again squeeze it and press it together again place it over here and this way and now we're going to go for just two it's very simple but this you can do any measurement you like because this is not something you have to do this is what you like and if you want to maybe a cardboard a tree or you will cut it out a, a tree from some wood it's also fine i'm going to do it with my blocks but you don't have to do it I'm going to go for a one and a half block of course not this one but this one and I'm going to glue this on this one and again we only need a half block on top I don't know if I use the half blocks on top maybe I also do it different but at least this will be the base so and now for everyone who uses the smaller blocks for the tree i would go for four blocks for the first line for the other line the, the longest line i will go for four blocks but i will double it up this way because or else you don't have room to uh to do some letters on top so i would go for this for the other line then i would go for this one i would go not for a three but three and a half Then I would go for three, then I would go for, and of course also double it up because this is a little bit wider. Here I can get some letters on, but for one row, you see already that's very hard to get letters on. So this one is very, if you use the base, four blocks, and just make it smaller and smaller, you can go for three and a half, you can go to three, two and a half, and two, and I think you have to stop with two because that will be uh, already the smallest, and then you can do on top something else maybe also a little block but you can choose that for yourself but this is for the smaller blocks i have now all my pieces on my table what i'm going to do i'm going to get my paint and i'm going to choose for the sand color to uh, paint everything in the same color but of course if you like the tree maybe in green or maybe brown or the basket of the your box in another color just go ahead i do everything in this color So I'm going to paint it and of course I'm going to do it a little bit faster. And you see here all the pieces are now painted. I did not totally inside of the box because you won't, you won't see it. So, But if you want to paint it inside, of course, go ahead. I took uh, two pieces of uh, wooden uh, 
round slices and of course you can also use a piece of cardboard so if you don't have wooden pieces laying around it doesn't matter you can uh, or i order them online on aliexpress and timu you can also buy this kind of round and this is 10 centimeters uh in the uh from this side to this side is 10 centimeters and they are very handy to have in your home and they are very thin you can see already this is not a thick one. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go now to my computer and I'm going to make a print for on top of my tree and of course for on our round. And you see here already, I have here my print. I did all about Christmas products. Of course, I do, I do my own name. You can do anything you like, of course. And I did, we wish you a Merry Christmas and I'm going to cut all of them out and we're going to do them on top of our tree and of course on the rounds. So the pieces are cut out. What I'm going to do, I'm going to very easy take my Mod Podge and I'm going to Mod Podge it on top of my uh, Christmas tree and of course my round. And you see already, I'm just doing it this way. Do any way you like. So I'm going to do it very easy. And of course, there are maybe people who don't do it differently. Do whatever you think is right. And I'm going to lay my top. And you see already, I am under my glue <laughs> so i'm going to place it on top and make sure that we have a nice little round and i'm later i'm going to give it a nice golden uh, round so the edges don't worry about it you can easily get a piece of uh, a, a marker and just mark it over so this is already one and i'm going to do the rest I have mud parts all of them on top of here and of course I did with some gold marker I did a line around it like this if you like a, a shiny touch or a touch on your front of your uh, print of course go ahead and do an extra layer of mud parts I don't like most of the time I like the matte finish of course if you want to use this I understand if you don't want to use this one but at least the letters you can find them of course in our free printables what I'm going to do I'm going to get my a uh, piece of our Christmas tree and what I'm going to do I'm going to glue my pieces on top of here of course I have to measure out how high my uh, box is and then I'm going to because he has to come out on top <laughs> or else it will look very strange and you can do it any way you want and this way I think I'm going for a little bit sideways I hope you can see it if I correctly yo here you are <laughs> You see, this is what I'm going to do, and I'm going to do on the other side exactly the same. But, of course, I don't bore you with that, so I'm going to glue this together. So, and this is how he is looking like, at least the first side, and I'm going to double up on the other side exactly the same. Of course, we're going to lay this apart, and I'm going to get my box, and I'm going to do my round on top of it. And you see, I just laid my box on the side. And I'm going to get one of the rounds. I'm going to do some glue. Just only in the middle. Like this. And I'm going to place it also in the middle of our box. And I'm going to look for if I have it straight. Or else you, <laughs> the letters are wrong. <laughs> so I'm going to do it on this side. And of course on the other side. So I have my rounds you see already on my box and now I'm going to try because I don't know if it is already too early but we will see then they will fall off and we're going to glue them again but I'm going to just turn them over and I'm going to try to do the same uh, way that I do it on the front side so it every uh, on each side you see the same way but of course I don't know if it will work or maybe it will fall off we will see and on this way it stays in place <laughs> so i'm going to get the rest and i'm going to double it up this way very easy just do it the same way and try to get it doubling up like this and this way over here 
and this way over here and this way over here and so we have the same on each side you see our little tree turned out this way and i'm really happy with the result like you see i did on the other side the same what i'm going to do i'm going to do turn it over and i'm going to do some wood glue because we have here our piece we will use as a stand we are going to do some wood glue and we're going to glue this first on top of each other so a little bit of glue and we're going to place it in the middle and of course i have to look for that i have a straight of course it this way and i'm going to place it in here and we're going to press it down and keep it in place for a couple of minutes in the meantime while our tree is drying i have here a wooden top and this is used uh, in a fall package with some wooden fall things and this must uh, be uh, at least it was supposed to be a mushroom so i'm going to use this kind of uh, wooden pieces uh, so if you have your craft uh, um, uh, store and you find this kind of piece just Go ahead, take them with you because you can use them as an end. And I'm going to use this as a top for my tree. But before I'm going to do this, because the color is of course not my color, I'm going to get my black schoolboy paint and I'm going to paint it in the black color. So very easy. And I'm just give it one nice coat. And this gives a nice of the matte finish. So I will paint this, let it dry, and then we're going to glue it on top of our tree. And we're going to glue our tree inside of the box. But of course, you can use both of them also separately. You can use the, uh, the box separately. And also the tree on the stand is really easy just to place in your display. display. The play. <laughs> display. So I have here our box and I have here our tree. And of course, I did already the top on the tree. I glued it. It's so easy to do. And now you already have your own Christmas tree. And he is even on a stand. So you can place him anywhere you like you don't have to use the box and you don't even have to make the box if you want only the tree you can only make the tree i'm going to turn it over and i'm going to do some glue of course i have to try i know i you don't see it probably <laughs> at least i hope you can see it i do it this way and then you can see a little bit of it i'm going to do some glue and i'm going to place it of course in the the middle of our box over here and just place it in and then we're going to let it dry and you see already i place you a little bit closer what i'm going to do i'm just going to show you a, a simple and an easy neutral way to decorate it i just do some simple pieces of greenery you see like this and i'm going to place one on this side of course over here and I place one on this side, very simply, over the sides. And this one also in this side. I'm going to do one on the back side. Over here. And just place it in. But maybe it's always better if you bend it a little bit so it gets uh, the idea that you have it bending over. And of course, I don't know how you see it on your way, on your side of your of the camera. I just always do something, but I have really no idea how you are going to see the this place. And this way, and I'm going to look for. I don't think I think I have enough of this greenery. What I'm going to do? I'm going to have kind of bury some greenery, and of course, I'm going to place them also inside. Just squeeze them in wherever you think. It is right and I'm going to do on this side and of course later with the quick impression you see the total reveal and I'm going to go for this one over here squeeze it in and I'm going to do this one on this side over here and bend it over and now i'm going to do some couple of my ferns i have a fern from ikea i do just ripped it apart and just uh, use the pieces because then you have more for your money i always say so i have loose pieces of the fern so i will show you in a moment that my ele elastic band is not working so you see i have this kind of loose pieces i'm going to do four pieces inside one on this side one on the other side and in between the greenery of the christmas and i'm going to do it on this side squeeze it in 
and on the other side and again I'm going to try to squeeze it in and this way and now I know it looks a little bit strange if I look to you <laughs> don't worry later you will see the impression then you will see the right way and again I'm going to do a little bit of a bigger piece of my uh, garland because i always buy this kind of red berry garlands and i uh, or uh, i bought them last year for 7.99 and i saw this year it was outrageous because it was 14.99 so it is really uh, the prices here are did go up it is really not uh, much fun anymore to shop of course we love shopping but the prices are really, really outrageous over here. So I'm going to do here. And now I'm going to get this kind of brands. It's a little bit more of the darker, you see. And I'm going to do two pieces of this one also inside. But And then for me, it's more than enough. But choose your own. If you like it a little bit more that way, or a little bit more uh, busy, it's also fine too. I think I'm going for this one and this one. They are a little bit bigger this way and you see now I have just a little cluster of my berries and I'm going to place them on the front on this side under the tree and I'm going one on this side I hope I do it I have really no idea where I'm looking <laughs> maybe I don't even stick it in you don't know let me know if I stick it in or not <laughs> And this way so I keep it very simple and easy and you see in the moment the quick impression but go away or go ahead with uh, your imagination and just do whatever you think it's like. 